Hey guys, it's Fia back again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 4th of April 2022. It's a Mount Farm Monday. I had a really good day today. Yes, you should watch and find out why. There was a very clippable moment or two, and I'm very pleased about that. If you'd like to catch us live, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama. And if you add forward slash schedule to that, you'll be able to see when I'm going to go live next, converted to your time zone automatically, which is fantastic. I'm trying to grow my social media following currently, particularly with a focus on Instagram. So if you would like to, if you're feeling generous, you can scroll down into the description box below and, uh, and follow those links there and, and drop me a follow. It helps more than you could ever imagine. Like you, I mean, I'm sure some of you might absolutely know why, because like, you know, influencer life. But uh, <laughs> if you don't understand why it means so much, it come drop by a stream and ask me because I will happily tell you all the reasons why it would be amazing. But anyway, enough about me. Enjoy the VOD. I hope you like it. And I will hopefully see you in chat next time. Another one. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. I think captions are on now. Oh, hi. Sup. <laughs> you guys. You guys. A, a magical miracle. I don't even know what to call it, but something unheard of happened today. Something I, ne I never thought I would see the day. And yet here we are. Today, I had one singular hour of free time. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there are still things on my to-do list. I just decided I'm not going to do them today. So <laughs> but I actually sat down and, and did some cross-stitching. So I am in a very happy place today. Place your units. Don't hold out on me, guys. Come on, do the thing. Links in chat. It's so, so easy. All you need to do is tap on that link. Click the link, regardless, depending on the platform that you're on at the moment. Link, click, Twitch, login, units, onto the battlefield. Do the thing. Don't, don't make me lose the first battle again today, because it just, it makes me sad. It makes me sad, okay? And I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not feeling the sad today. I want, let's go hype. All the hype. No loss, no losing battles today. All the hype. Uh, what the fuck am I doing? Uh, Order of Embers. Good, let's go do that. <clears throat> How is everybody? Exactly. Exactly. We're going to do all the things, but we're going to start with Order of Embers. World quests for reputation. How is everybody? Hi, the What's sun up? Well. Ah! Lander! Excuse me, apparently I drank those things too quickly. <laughs> Lando, thank you so much for the tier two Risa. Much appreciated. 55. 55 months. What the hell? How? How have I been streaming for that long? That doesn't... What? <laughs> Thank you so much for your ongoing support and generosity. And the paragraph. I missed the paragraph. Give me a second. I thought that was a different message. My bad. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah, oh, thank you. Much appreciated, Lando. Appreciate the kind words. Thank you so much. Where am I going? Is Borellis this way? It is. Good. I always forget. I'm very bad at this. Seeker! 
Sika as well with a race up 11 months. How has it almost been a year? What? The actual, what, what? Good afternoon. Thank you so much, Sika, for the kind words. And yes, follow me on the socials. Oh my God, yep. And we are three and a half minutes away from being able to trigger, well, we have three and a half minutes left to trigger a hype train. If that is what, if, if you are choosing chaos today, that is, or if you're choosing coas, I should say, if you are choosing coas today, that is how, that is how long you have to trigger the thing. Uh, Drustfar. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Uh, let me do a scroll, read all the things. Uh, we had a boop from Landa before I went live. And dupe asking a couple questions. <laughs> Tell the world my story. Go on without me. I need to take another nap. Yeah. Yup. Dear world, dupe has abandoned you. You've run your own from now on. <laughs> well done to Zam on first. X on second. Dupe has chipped in to the newly launched stream community challenge. Thank you very much in your absence, dupe, for your contribution. And congratulations on third. Enjoy your lurk. All of the goddamn hydrates. Welcome, fairy. You are indeed also here. Hello, nurse. Now, earlier, yes, daylight savings uh, has been wound back in the states that observe it, in Australia at least. Um, and But my time didn't change, so nana. Nah. Um, <laughs> uh... Have a good stream chat. Will do. Enjoy your look and rest well, X. Stream not at all. No, no. Precisely when she means to. No, I did arrive a little bit late. Uh, I... Mm, so I went to put my makeup on and um, a couple of my eyeshadow pans went kablamo. Uh, they basically exploded. But they exploded in a manner that I could salvage them. Ah! And it's a hype train! Amazing! Danzos, thank you so much for the sub! Welcome to the Fionati. Hello, hello. Um, what was I saying? Right, yeah, I, my, a couple of my eyeshadow pans exploded, but in a way that I could salvage them, so I had to like grab the chunks of it and you basically, you mash them to a pulp. Excuse me, you pulverize them to powder. And then you add uh, a couple drops of isopropyl alcohol. And then you like mix it up until it's like wet sand sort of consistency. And then you put it back in the empty pan and you press really, really hard on it. Like you put a sheet of, um, of, 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 uh, paper towel. And then you like press really hard to, s and the paper towel like absorbs the extra isopropyl that you're squeezing out of it. But that packs it down like eyeshadow pans that have been pressed, right? Um, Ideally, you're meant to do it with a machine, but those machines cost several hundred dollars and I don't have that, nor would I use it often enough to justify the cost. Uh, so I have I have um, replacement pans that are pretty much bang on the size of 10 cent pieces, just a tiny bit bigger. So I put the layer of paper towel over it and then I put a 10 cent piece so that I press on the 10 cent piece and it presses it lower into the pan so that I can get extra pressure onto it. Yeah, so I can squeeze it harder so that it actually stays in the pan. Uh, and then you leave it out in the air, the open air, for all the alcohol to evaporate. And then it's dry and it's a powder again. And you can use it as eyeshadow again. Or face powder, or blush, or bronzer, or highlighter, or whatever powder it was to begin with. Once it's dry, you can use it as, as usual. So, yeah, it's good. I like it. I like it. But yeah, it took me a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, unfortunately, but that's okay. I'm here. I do apologize for, for my tardiness. Um, spelling 69th for Landa. Slip settled me. Wasn't expecting sound. I'm sorry. Yeah, the straw, it, it sucked on air. Let me go, am I going to make it look straight? Oh, thank you, X. I should, um, right. So, uh, I own this mount. And it's a flying mount. It's a flying mount, and I own it. I have, ooh, where's this button? I have purple in my crease. 
It's light, it's pale, but it's there. Uh, there's pink on the outside corner and silver on the on the inside corner and then purple in the in the, the curvy bit up the top. <laughs> uh, and I do own it and it does fly. For fun. Best of luck to all who decide to take to take a stab at it. Uh, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Tired. Tired, but good. How are you? How are you? Enjoy your luck, X. Singular hour of free time. I know. How mind-blowingly awesome is that? I'm kind of hoping a couple of the things that I did today were like one-off things. Like they they were big jobs that were like one-off things. So I'm hoping, you know, hope against hope um, that tomorrow I might even get more. No, it's it's work day tomorrow, so I'm not going to get any free time. But um, although I could not do any stream work after my day job shift, which would also be very nice. That would be very, very nice for time. I know, and you don't want your streamer to be sad, do you? Exactly, exactly. Can't, can't let the streamer be sad. Panicked, yes. Embarrassed, yes. Um, like, you know, covered in, in pie, potentially, yes. But, um, not, not sad. <laughs> sad is, sad is a no-go zone. Sad is a no-go zone. <laughs> Ah, uh, keep your streamer happy. Join the battle. Correct. Absolutely. Do the thing. Look, there are absolutely some one-off jobs that I have that I can do that I could have filled that singular hour with, but I decided not to. I feel like if I end up with like two hours of free time, then maybe I'll cross something else minor off the list that doesn't have a due date. That'd be nice. But um, I, I only had one hour, so I, I watched a couple of episodes of Superstore uh, and, and just kind of sat on my butt, which was really nice. Uh, thank you so much, Seeker, for linking my all my links, socials page. Uh, Mandy, it's been worth it to me. I hope to you as well. Uh, absolutely, Lander, absolutely. Oh, I've collected all of the level one emotes. I can no longer... We did level one hype train. And I cannot, I cannot get any more emotes from it. <laughs> because you guys are so ridiculously generous. That's why. That's why. Uh, Coas, exactly. All of the Coas. Oh, shit. Close enough, apparently. Ah! Oh, Order of Embers has a thingy today. Oh, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Mm. Could I maybe solo Waycrest on normal? I'm tempted to try. We'll see. I'll I'll do these two and then I'll wrap down and up and around and see if I'm not exalted by then. Maybe I should try doing Waycrest Manor on normal. Now that I'm 60, right? Remember, this Demon Hunter is 60 now. Now that I'm 60, maybe I can do it as a tank. Probably not, but I can I can try, especially the bosses. Ooh, that might be tricky. We'll see. We'll see. Professor's goes into finding that Portman's skirt goes for up to eighty dollars. Not sure how much non-fast fashion women's clothing items go for. Uh, yeah, that's that's about right. Um, you gotta remember, like Portman's in particular is like a business. It's business clothes. Um, so the expectation is that if you're working in an office where these kinds of clothes are going to be required, you're earning enough that you can spend eighty dollars on a skirt that'll last you a few years. Um, cause yeah, like, good workwear will last you literally three or four years, sometimes more, if you take good care of it. Um, so it's not, like, definitely don't think of it as, like, it's a one-off purchase and good lord, it's so expensive. You're thinking more about it's gonna cost you $20 a year. Obviously you have to come up with the money now, but it is an investment over time. You spend that money now so that you don't have to spend it later. Whereas fast fashion stuff, you spend a whole lot less now but over that four year period, you're probably gonna need eight fast fashion skirts at 20 bucks a pop. So it's gonna be 140 rather than 80. Does that, does that make sense? It, it requires higher upfront purchase, but over time it, it's more cost effective. Um, yes. But yeah, 80s, 80 sounds about right. 
um, and you'd probably be looking at something like 100 to 120 for a, a good quality dress. Um, dresses are usually more expensive because it's a top and a bottom. So if you have a look at a nice top and a nice bottom together, that's roughly how much a dress is going to cost. Maybe a little bit less because you, there's, you know, you don't have to coordinate it yourself or whatever. But um, that's roughly what you're looking at for a dress. Yeah. Uh, clothing be expensive. Good clothing that will last you be expensive. Yeah, absolutely. You can get cheap shit. Absolutely. But it's cheap and it's shit and it'll last you a couple weeks. <laughs> uh, dear, good time zone fate and I hope you're doing well. Uh, almost feels like Rune Factory 5 or Skirt. I mean, yeah. That is that is a, a valid decision to have to make. <laughs> like video games or clothing items. That's that's absolutely a, a decision that needs to be made. Um, I have previously purchased Q-Skirts, but it can be around 180. They go for a lot sometimes. They do, yeah. Uh, the more you're paying, for, like the more the, you're paying, the better quality you want it to be, obviously. <laughs> um, uh, a lot of them will keep an eye on, on care instructions and stuff. A lot of them will say, don't put it in the goddamn dryer. If you've spent $80 on an item of clothing and it says do not tumble dry, do not tumble dry. <laughs> because you will you will take years off the life of your piece of clothing. Um, uh, yeah, it's... Yeah. Uh, I guess I can't help but to progress celebrate these days. That's okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to... I, that wasn't a call out, Lander. Sorry, I, I thought it was another message and then I didn't realise until I saw... Hang on, it's got that, like, um, uh, indent. That's the word I'm looking for. It had that indent and I was like, oh shit, that's part of that. Crap, I should I should pay attention now, like, rather than when I'm reading through chat. Sorry, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to make you feel bad about it at all. At all. Uh, I was having no concept of what is a good price for clothing. Uh, well, yeah, look, no. reputable stores like Portman's and stuff is going to be... That's that's what you're looking at paying. Um, there are there are clothes. Uh, there are there are companies out there that do cheap and shitty clothes. But um, when you have a, a brand like that that's been around for a long time, like there's a reason they haven't gone out of business, and it's because their clothing is decent, and so they're going to charge decent prices. Um, but shop around. Have a look at stuff that you like that's in your style and and um, and if you don't know what your style is, if you look at a piece and go, ooh, that's your style. It's that simple. Uh, <laughs> like it's really not complicated. It's it's really actually that simple. Um, oh, Soul Goliath. This is one that I couldn't do before. Maybe I can do it now. That was the big dude before, right? Um, no, that's an old Hulk. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about right. Choo-choo indeed! Problem homie, thank you, dinosaurs. Mostly buy clothing from Kmart and BW, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's just not as, uh, heavy duty. It made the, the lifetime of the clothing might not be as long as buying something from somewhere else, that's all. But it's, yeah, like, if that's where you buy your clothing, then feel free to continue buying your clothing from there. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and, yeah. Like, Kmart and Big W are not POV. That's, they are reasonable clothing stores. Like, they do really good stuff at really affordable prices. It just doesn't last as long as the, the bigger, like, the, the clothing name brands, as opposed to store brands, kind of, yeah, is, yeah. No need to be self-deprecating around something like that. Um, a uh, good place is that which you're prepared to and able to spend. Generally spend a lot less on clothes these days. Pre-kids have spent a lot as expendable income. Yep, unlikely to spend over $10 for a top. Yep, and there's there's nothing wrong with that. You can find pretty nice looking stuff at any price budget, like at, at any budget. You've just some things you need to hunt a little harder for. And, you know, you may not be able to get yourself a silk blouse, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Like, you don't need a silk blouse. You you know what I mean? It, it's, you just, yeah. You find something that looks good to you, that when you put it on it doesn't itch, <laughs> and you and you go with it. Uh, purple riding netheray. Yes. 
<laughs> Apparently I did a good job today. Wonderful. Apathy, can I get a number from you, please? Uh, most of my clothes these days Target BW came out. I don't have the expendable cash and things do not last with kids spilling things on them. Yep, absolutely. Because of course the more you wash them, the uh, the the faster they degrade and eventually tear or get holes in or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's absolutely a thing. Um, covered in pie stream when? Oh, that'd be one hell of a donation goal or, or a sub goal or something. Maybe, maybe next time we do a subathon. I don't know, I haven't done one of those in a while. Maybe next time we do a subathon. Like if we get to X number of subs, then I'll face plant a pie. And then if we don't get there, I get to eat pie. Wonderful. I like this idea. This is great. This is great. <clears throat> uh, why is that not working? On there behalf we go. of my people, thank you for your help. Okay, where? Here's the soul Goliath. I want to see if I can actually take him out this time. Mm, that fish is getting petted. It, it is the hype pat. It is that is a fish being pet. That is sure. I guess all creatures deserve pets, right? Unless they will bite your hand off, in which case, do not pet the angry creatures. Um, I guess if it costs like two thousand, not the bad if it doesn't fit, and you return it. Um, yeah, generally, if you're um, like if you're shopping in store, obviously you can try things on. Um, most, if not all, clothing websites will have a size guide. I highly recommend that you make use of that. Uh, because sending things back and returning things and the stuff like that um, can cost you postage and stuff, which is not great. Um, so you can get like a, a um, what's it like this from Woolworths for a couple bucks. Woolworths or Coles or whatever. They often have like sewing kits and stuff where, where you find the, the clothing repair kits and things. Um, you'll also find uh, like me measuring tape somewhere near that. Uh, and then you can use that to take your own measurements. Uh, and most most websites will even show you exactly where they want you to take those measurements so that they can get the most accurate fit and that way you shouldn't have to return things and therefore it won't cost you anything out of pocket. <clears throat> um, hello Chaos. Got some 60, thank you dude. Thank you, that was, uh, that was last stream wasn't it? No, Friday, it was on Friday. Got it all the way to 60. Went a little over time, but that's okay. Uh, target toss for a perfectly corporate environment. With linen came from Target for eight bucks. Yep, perfect. Uh, vast majority of my workwear was from uh, Target as well. Uh, back when I needed workwear. I still have like workwear items and stuff. I do have a few things from Maya. Um, simply because when I got my first like... My, my first, like, when, when it was my first full time job in Brisbane and I wanted to celebrate. So, with my first paycheck, I went and spent a couple hundred dollars on, and I'm talking like I got two skirts, a pair of pants, and like five blouses or whatever, and it was like 200 bucks. Um, maybe a little bit more. It was a sale. Uh, <laughs> love sales. Sales wonderful. I can kill it now. That's fantastic news. That is fantastic news. Uh, I don't want to ignore. Can I, like, filters? Should be like a reset. Ignore uh, options. Ignore list. Here we go. Let's delete all of those. That'll be fine. Uh, all right, down we go. <clears throat> but yeah, and those the the Maya bits and pieces have definitely lasted a bit longer than the Target bits did, but like. The quality, like the actual feel of wearing them and stuff, can't tell the difference. It's just that the, the target ones got holes a little faster, sort of thing. You know what I mean? But yeah, 
like either are totally fine. You don't need to spend eighty dollars on a skirt to be appropriate. You can get a fifteen dollar skirt and be perfectly fine. Um, yeah. Uh, just in case I don't see how to improve this forty percent. I'm looking there. So he needs to. Might be a quarter of the price. Yeah. Bad goods. I'm glad. I'm not sure if you may not be old or you're gonna for that. Ah, oh, fuck that. There, there's none. There is that. Does, none of that matters. Like it's literally you wear what you want to wear. It like it does not matter. <laughs> no one gives a shit as long as you don't have like. As long as you don't have your bits out, no one cares what you're wearing. As long as it fits the company's like dress code, it the patterns don't matter. Unless it's like you're at a particular store and you're wearing a very obvious competitor's item of. Do you know what I mean? Like if 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 you're working at EB and you have like JB Hi-Fi branded clothing, like a, a JB Hi-Fi branded shirt, probs not okay. But um, yeah, no, people do not actually care about that kind of stuff. Like in terms of other people on you, you wear what makes you happy, and other people don't give a shit. Especially in a work environment, they're more focused on trying to get their job done. And if they're not, if they're gossipy bitches, then that's, like, that's really sad. Because they have nothing better to do with their time. <laughs> Maybe they should focus on being better at their jobs. <laughs> you know? It's, yeah. Yeah, don't, do not stress about, like, not once in my entire life have I given a shit about trends or, like, age-appropriate clothing or any of that kind of crap. It just doesn't matter. If it wasn't appropriate for a certain age group, they'd refuse to sell it to you. They're not going to, because that's not a thing. Um, good morning, what mounts are you farming? At the moment, I am trying to get my Order of Embers rep to Exalted so I can buy two mounts from them because they have mounts at Exalted. Uh, I don't know how close I am to Exalted because I don't really want to check. I kind of want it to be a surprise when the achievement pops up. But that's what we're starting with today. I've got a whole long list to work through, but this is this is the first one. Hope you're having a fantastic day, Ress. 42 for apathy. I get there eventually, I promise. Um where are we? Ooh. Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. I feel like I've given one of those away before. Maybe, maybe, oh, you know what? It was probably a shaper. <laughs> I think that's a pretty safe guess. What do we think? Uh, I think the lines of a female presenting person of X age can only wear this. Oh yeah, no one gives a shit. Yep, you are, you would be correct, Sika. I use a mount of my light forge palette to so instantly recognize the colors. Ah, there you go, beautiful. I'm so glad it's getting some use out there because it is a really pretty mount. Like the pinks and the purples and like the silver and all that is, it's just, it's really nice. And it's fun to wear too. I don't often get to wear like pinks and stuff. I get a little, sometimes I get a little bit afraid because I know, you know, traditionally pink clashes with red, but I reckon I can make it work. I reckon it's okay. Like with the hair is more what I'm mentioning towards. Um, but I think, I think I can make it work. I think it's fine. Uh, to be clear, again, non-female presenting people are and should be in the same position too. Also, clothing is not gendered or aged or sized. Uh, if it makes you happy, it is for you. Correct. Correct. Uh, gods who fly and make the world quest so much more bearable. Yes, we've hit my passion topic. No shit. <laughs> I mean that with all the love in the world, of course. Yes, absolutely we have. And I'm glad. I'm glad. I love seeing people be passionate about things, you know, like... I mean, I'm sure you guys get it. I'm passionate about all sorts of crap. So when you guys get passionate too, it makes me really happy. A local farmer's pigs went missing in the thick of the woods. Save them before the spores take hold. Ah, you saw my most recent videos in play. I only started looking at it in the past two years or so. I mean, two years is still a while. Like, don't don't put yourself down. Like, this is. Like, it's totally okay. The fact that, you know, you're, you're looking at the specific stores that are, you know, clothing designed for female presenting people and all that kind of stuff, but you know where to go. You know what to look at. You don't put yourself down. 
The only experience you need is, oh, that looks cute. Let's try that on. See if I like the way that it like sits on my body. That's it. You, you don't need anything beyond that, honestly. If it stays, it gets pats. Yep. Yeah. Except if it tries to bite your hand off, in which case, just, you know, safety first. <laughs> safety that. Have that no measurements? Perfect. Then, yeah, you should be fine unless it's things like, you know, obviously sometimes clothing will fit on the model a little bit differently than it'll fit on you and stuff like that. Um, I tend to prefer doing clothing shopping in person for that particular reason because I'm, like... My measurements are a bit interesting. Um, when when something says it will fit, and it fits perfectly exactly where the where the thing sits, but it has weird sort of angles in it and stuff. Like it doesn't fit me in other places where I have not put the tape directly. Um, however, s especially since COVID kicked off. I've been finding online clothing has been fitting me a lot better, which is really interesting. I don't know if that's because my body shape has changed or if it's because people are being more descriptive online to avoid having to process a million and one goddamn returns. But um, yeah, it's it's definitely seeming to be easier to purchase clothing online these days. So yeah, as long as you as long as you take those measurements properly and like uh, for safest bet, if if your measurements fit under two columns, like for example, like half of them are medium and half of them are large, go the large. Um, because, you know, you can always put a belt around something or, or whatever, but, you know, popping a seam never feels good. So if, if one area is too small and everything else fits versus one area is a little bit big, but everything else fits, the big is easier to fix. <clears throat> so always size up if you, if you're kind of borderline. Um, and you can also, like, if, if you're borderline and it's by, like, half a centimetre or a centimetre, the other thing I've found that I can do, like, my hips and stuff can't really do it so much, but my waist or my chest, what I'll actually do is go, oh, it's, it's one centimetre smaller, okay, and then I'll actually move the tape to what they say the measurement is, and then kind of breathe a bit and, and move my chest around a bit to see if I could move in that snugness. Usually I couldn't, so I size up. So <laughs> sizing up is always a good bet, but um, you can sort of try the other way as well. Uh, does something people really find challenging? Getting in touch with local sport groups can help. They can take stuff, uh, take people out shopping and and stuff. Hi, it's There's a sun well. The difference, a lot easier for people to sure. something to people struggle with. Love sales, they're the bestest. Absolute bestest. Universally, you feel uncomfortable and unsure in how we present. Four arms could type better and get a better mid <laughs> mythic plus. Ah, oh, hello, Kaz. How are you doing? I love that two different people, two completely different unrelated people, sent me the same gif in response to that would you rather question. Makes me very happy. Um, she's not diminishing as experience at all. More to say, I feel the challenge is real. Fair enough. Um, uh, so pretty much whatever I want. Yep. Pretty much. Yeah, like, um, super, super corporate dress codes are not, like, they are, they are on their way out from, like, will help us continue the, fight against the look of a lot of it. Guys, we did a lose. A lose. I mean, it's always good to have, a, like, a corporate looking outfit for interviews and stuff like that, but a lot of places... Um, yeah, it's, uh, I know Portman doesn't do just corporate stuff, just a lot of their stuff is kind of business casual aligned. Yeah, those are like super popular, which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, people wanting that that like big perky booty 
uh, without doing the squats, basically. Yeah, they've been around for a, a little while. Just can you imagine sitting down a little too hard when you've literally inflated your pants? Like, up. Oh, I can't imagine it'd be comfortable either. Like, it'd hurt having your pants explode whilst attached to you. Snugly. But, you know, to each their own. Just can't imagine doing it myself, because good lord. Yeah, you find- you should- you should browse Wish. Wish is there not to purchase stuff, to be clear, but for entertainment value. Um, there are so many ridiculous products on Wish around, like, that kind of stuff. It's, um... Oh dear. Oh dear. <clears throat> Side note, don't anyone, please, don't ever insert mothballs into any of your orifices. That's not what they're designed to do. Uh, they will not help you lose weight. They will probably harm you, potentially kill you. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh... the same time yeah i i don't look i don't know if it's that a lot of people do it or that the company has paid amazon a lot of money to put them high up in the rankings uh, <laughs> slightly slightly different but uh still still concerning um yeah hello rusty how you going um all right this one for in person six foot two yeah i'm five three so i probably have the opposite problem that you have in that everything kind of sits a little too high like you get ankle freezing pants or midriff tops that are not meant to be midriff tops things like that uh whereas i get pants that are supposed to come to just above your knee and they come down to halfway down my shins like it's um everything is just too long <laughs> if something fits me length like fits me width wise it doesn't fit me lengthwise i still remember when i was like a, a mid to late teenager getting jeans that I'd pull all the way up and essentially give myself a wedgie to get them as high as possible and I'd still have this much jean hanging off past my toes like it had come down around my ankle my around my heel to my toes and then still have more like good lord and so I I was that person who you know when when it wears out that kind of heel shaped cut mark out of the back of the jeans because you walk on it with your shoes all the time because i was a kid i couldn't afford to get clothes altered good lord yeah terrible things terrible things even now i still end up doing like um a lot of the clothes i end up getting are from like petite ranges not because i'm tight like not because i'm small well like, width wise but because i'm small length wise and so everything just fits better <sighs> but you know, I'm, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a thing. I'm just trying stuff on in minis or I buy from Target. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, 32. Oh my God. How did I miss that? NC, thank you so much for the resub. 32 months. Good Lord. <gasps> my God. How? Good Lord. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Hello, Countess. I don't know to call her settings. You're going to catch up with me. But like, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, casual clothing, go nuts. Anything comfortable makes you feel good? Exactly. Yep, absolutely. Um, belts for guys cost so much for a good one. Yes, they do. And it's because a lot of the good ones are actual proper leather. Like, they're made of pieces of animal hide, and so that's kind of... It requires treatment and all that kind of... It's not just, like, a woven belt. You can get, um, like, you can get pretty good men's woven belts that are pretty reasonably priced, but you have to really like that look, because it is very much a, a very specific look. Um, yeah. And personally, I found that most women's belts don't actually function as a belt. They don't hold anything up. Um, 
<laughs> so I end up going to the men's section. Uh, but, you know, that's fine. I'm sorry, what both balls? Where did that come from? Uh, talking about Wish. I told you if you wanted to see entertaining products to, to go have a browse of Wish. Uh, and then on Wish, one of the products you'll find quite often are things that resemble... Uh, things that resemble mothballs um, that people insert into orifices to inspire weight loss and things like that, which absolutely does not work. So don't do that. Your strength is needed. We must see this evil brought to an end. Right place? No. Good hunting. I think I'm. Am I supposed to kill all these first? Oh no, there's an open door. That's okay. We'll do that. I don't think that they're actual mothballs, but they look a hell of a lot like mothballs. So they might be. Instagram thing. Nope. Nope. Very much not new. The heart's been covered. Very much not new. Um, so many questions I undoubtedly do not want the answer to. Yeah, look. It's fine. It's fine. You do your boo, but just, you know, safety first. Hello, you. I'm doing well, thank you. How are you going? Mothballs are so tiny. Kick joke, yeah. Look, just, um, yep. Golly, no. Not star cheese pizza. It's got bubbles. That's right. Yet. Yes! Kaz, love it. Love it. Uh, tried to get him taken up. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I still don't get him taken up, but I'm at the length, like, body length now that, I mean, things are still too long on me, but they're short enough that I can just kind of gather them and have a bit of a gathering at the, at the ankle and be okay with it. Um... Because, uh, yeah, like spending extra money on top of every piece of clothing that is pants that I purchase is just, it's, yeah, it adds up. It adds up. Uh, hello, have you gotten any mounts yet? And how many do you have? Not yet today. Not yet today. We've only been live uh, 45 minutes, so not yet. But uh, I have 650 account wide mounts, which I'm pretty happy with. Of course I want more, but I'm pretty happy with that as a as a as a point of being at. This is why I make two nails in the belt so I can pull it tighter. Yeah, they make like little baby hole punchy things to like make proper holes, like proper new holes in a belt. Oh, and um and uh, 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 uh things like Mr. Minute, you know, key cutting places that also do like resoling of shoes can punch holes, can punch new holes in a belt for you as well. Um and they're not it's not ridiculously priced and having an actual hole punched by a proper machine will prevent you if you've ever had if you've ever like made a hole by pushing the prong through the the belt and you find after a while of use it starts splitting and opening up further and stuff to avoid that you can take it to like the the shoe repair places and they'll punch they'll just punch holes extra holes in for you and it'll be perfectly centered and properly spaced like they sort of look like it was made that way uh and you won't get the splitting in the holes that you might get otherwise so yeah hot tip hot tip i had to do that a lot when i was younger as well because none of the belts bloody worked <laughs> uh what a men's belt i couldn't find a leather women's one yeah they're all like decorative belts. It's like, I don't want to sling a pretty chain around my waist. I want to hold my pants up. <laughs> like, come on. Great, has lasted for years. Yep. Good quality belt will last you a long time. Long, long time. I'm glad to hear you're well due. Rolling up sleeves is a fashion once it was. It was. I still have a shirt that has like, uh, it, it has like, like length sleeves but it folds up and it's it's got a strap of fabric that kind of folds around it and then buttons to like hold it in place and yep yep and it's not a good quality shirt either like it's it's a it's a cheap shitty one um not bad at all nice collection you got thank you yeah i'm i'm pretty proud of it i'm pretty happy with it uh... i'll try the key place yeah, it is, it's, like, obviously it, it does have a cost associated because you are paying somebody to do, a, to do a service, so if you can afford to do it, it's a great way to make the belt last longer as well, but, um, you know, nothing wrong with punching your own holes, just, uh, it can, it can 
Make it last a bit longer. Aforementioned belt did exactly that. Yeah, got three holes added. Yep. Yep. I have a shirt like that from Kmart. I think mine's from uh, SES. I'm not sure if SES is still around anymore, actually. But, um... Ah, crap. But they did good stuff. Really good stuff. For me, anyway. I liked it. Alright, let's see if I can do a boss in here on normal. I am in damage spec, so I, if I have to, I could switch to Havoc, but I, I don't really... So, Vengeance, but I'm not sure that I want to. Because I'll do a hell of a lot less damage. This could be interesting. What does he do when there's no one in range? Consume all. I know what that did. Um. Is your stream going well so far? Just starting off. I spent with 39 bucks. Yeah, good belts are expensive, but worth it. SES, love that place as a teenager. Yeah, all of my clothing in university came from SES. Um, because I was an adult, and yet the height of an old child. Um, but I had adult features. And so, because it was an Asian brand, I'm not sure whereabouts in Asia it's, uh, it comes from, but because it was an Asian brand, a lot of their clothing was like smaller, like smaller sizes, but built for adults, if you get my what I'm saying. So it fit me. It fit me so much better than anything I could get from like Kmart or Target or whatever. Um, so I'd get my shoes, the cheap shoes from Kmart. Like the, you know, five to ten dollar shoes from Kmart, and then all my clothes came from SES. It was great. Uh, okay. Where am I supposed to go? I've forgotten. Well done, dupe. Look at that. Look at that. It's good, indeed. Stream is well, indeed. I've been happy with my time here, at least. Fantastic. Glad to hear it. <clears throat> I'm glad that I can actually do this dungeon. That's where I came from, isn't it? It is. Alright. So I need to cut through here and do... One, I think. <clears throat> um... This, yes, has me going ooh shiny. Lots of items. Runners, 25 bucks from Kmart. Still good, two years on. Nice. Nice. So if you're doing a demon hunt to change the April Fool's joke, yes. That's correct, yeah. It was an April Fool April Fool's like it was on the first of April and everything, so I thought, hey, this is a harmless joke. Um, so yes. It was indeed. Uh however. I, I chose to do that in particular because I know I also do some things cross-faction, like on the other faction, so that, uh, so, so having a 60 on Alliance side is, is helping. It means I can do more stuff eas more easily, I can collect stuff that's Alliance only, easier, etc, etc. So there, there was a purpose to doing it, um, but it was the fact that I was changing my mains was a joke. <laughs> um... Do you remember when you were playing Demon Hunter? Yes, that was on Friday. It was good fun. I'm glad I got it all the way to 60. That's like that. I, I'm really happy about that. It's also kind of making me think that I could make some decent progress. I'm not a paladin. No. Correct. Correct. Um, it's also making me think I could actually make some progress on leveling all my tunes, but then I keep remembering, honey, you have 45 to go. You did one in six hours. And it was already level 54 when you started. That's a lot of time. Like, <laughs> But we do have a leveling stream goal this month. So 
when that comes up, feel free to chip in your, uh, free to, uh oh, okie dokie. So this, maybe not. can't do anything to the thorns and they're gonna kill me oh no yeah okay all right so there's no way to solo that boss yet i would imagine destroying the releases of clay but i can't destroy them myself bugger all right that's okay i can't solo it that's fine um my veins are alive tk on a horde for pet battles yes just say stream goal. Can you please tell us more about stream goals? Like what are they and how to contribute to them? Of course I can do. Of course I can. Um, so currently, uh, um, excuse me, World of Warcraft. What are you doing? Are we good? There we go. Um, Oh look! New world quest. I might as well go do that. Um Right. So community challenges are things that you as a community can contribute towards if it's something you're interested in. Uh this week's challenge is for a game called TikTok. A Tale of Two. Or a Tale for Two. I think it's a Tale for Two. Um it is a Tale for Two. So it's a game that isn't WoW, I know, shocking, right? Uh, but it's a puzzle game, but I can only see half of what's going on, and I would play it with Jas, who would be able to see the other half. So we would have to communicate to be able to solve these puzzles and contribute each of our clues and, and figure out what the hell is going on to solve like the puzzle and the story and all that kind of stuff. Um, if that sounds like something you would like to see, Jas and I bickering over, over who's correct with the puzzle solution and withholding clues on purpose to try to make them get guess wrong, um, <laughs> you can click the little purple campfire underneath the, cha uh, underneath the chat box where you, where you type your chat stuff. It's where your embers are. And there's a banner in the top there that says, uh, TikTok a tale for two. Uh, so you can click that and you can contribute up to 2,000 embers per stream. So if you don't have, what the hell is going on? Okay. If you don't have 2000 embers, you can contribute less than if you would like. And you can, if you contribute less than 2K, you can contribute more as the stream goes on until you have contributed a total of 2000 for the stream. Uh, and then you can come back on Wednesday and do another 2K. And then you can come back on Friday and do another 2K. And then come back on Sunday and do another 2K if you so desire. Um, and if it hits 100%, then we do the stream in May. That simple. Nice and easy. Uh, what's the difference between a point outlet center and a regular store? I have no fucking idea. Uh, maybe the point outlet is like a DFO style, like factory outlet kind of thing. Um... But usually, like, it's not as not as nicely put together. Stuff is kind of put on tables and stuff. You can often get it a bit cheaper at a, a factory outlet, but there's not very many of them around. Like you'd have to go to a DFO or something. Um, and often, like when the stores, like when they change the seasons, like stores will release clothes in seasons. It's like they don't whatever. Um, you know, they'll sell winter stuff right up to and up to about halfway through winter, and then they'll change to the next season. That kind of stuff. If they've got leftover product that hasn't sold, even after it's been on a on a clearance rack for X amount of time, they'll often send it back to the factory outlet. So you'll get cheaper stuff that's a couple seasons old. That um. Yeah, that kind of thing. Uh, but that kind of stuff usually won't appear on the website because it's too much of a hassle for them to actually get it to where it needs to go if you if you order it online. So you'd have to go and, and see stuff. That's how factory outlets work. I don't know if that's what a point outlet a point uh, a point outlet center means, but I'm assuming given that one of the words is the same, maybe it's similar. Maybe it is similar. Um. Okay. Oh my god, Twitch chat. Fucking scroll. Um. Uh, uh, any news on your dental? Uh, it's been two weeks since surgery, and I don't think anything's going wrong. Uh, so nothing has developed since 
Nothing has changed since last week. Everything's all... all fine. Uh, experience campaign around. Hey, hunty, how you going? Welcome on in. Mount Farm OP. Look, I enjoy mount farming. I have a great time doing it. Welcome on in. Right, so I'm gonna refund that redemption to you because I'm not sure that's what you intended to do, but that's fine. Um, hello, Josh, how you going? You know, what happens if it doesn't hit 100? Do we just lose all our hard earned numbers? Absolutely not. If it doesn't reach 100, then you get anything that you invested, you get straight back. No interest, but <laughs> you get it all back. So it is a no lose situation. You either get the stream or you get your embers back. CS location, print outlet center, in other words, a store. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, not too sure about that, sorry. Uh, outlet store's usually cheaper, that's the main difference if I remember correctly. Yeah, but the reason it's cheaper, if it's like a like a factory outlet, the, the reason it's cheaper is because um, a lot of the time, so if it's, if it's currencies and stuff, it'll be stuff with defects. Uh, like there might be a, a few loose threads, like it could be something as simple as that or it might be slightly stained somewhere or, or something like that and you have to actually do work to, to fix it up yourself or whatever, or it's a few seasons old and they're just trying to get rid of the stock so they don't make a loss on it. Um, they'll, uh, like factory outlets will often have current stuff in store for normal prices as well to like get people in and then get them through the clearance bins as well. Uh, but it's not a like, yeah. All right, so Order of Embers is done. I'm now gonna go and do an attempt on Valfia. So if anyone else is Night Fae and would like a chance at a at a kill, um, hopefully Valfia's already up because <laughs> I can't summon him. Um, good. Uh, Roosters hands will stage you got a chicken crew. Oh my God, Landa, good Lord. That's hilarious. Uh, so I'm not putting my confidence up to ring. Phalanx dresses. Wondering what I could wear under it. Leggings. Leggings and stockings. Um, also good for changing lighter weight summery dresses into something you can wear when it starts cooling down. Um, if it's a little bit too light and you get, you know, get a bit of the wind chill. Uh, if you put like a singlet top under it and a pair of leggings and then you've still got the pretty nice floaty dress and, and the stuff underneath to help protect you from the cold. Yeah. Ah, oh, itchy scratchy. Good. All right. Uh, let's change the druid. You helped? You did, Rusty. You did. Lots of people have helped. Thank you so much for all of your contributions. This mount thingy. Uh, if you had read it, it would have told you. When you do redemptions, it actually has text there to tell you what the redemption is for. And now that you have redeemed it, like that, no one else can redeem it for the rest of stream. Yeah. It also literally says choose my mount, so that's pretty self-explanatory as well. Uh, I'm not yet on a Nightfake character, still finishing campaigns on my main, brilliant. Can you reset the stream? No. <laughs> no. Have some hydrates. Bit late for that, unfortunately, Vicar. <laughs> it's choose my mount. It's literally pick a mount for me to ride for the stream. It's it's literally what it is. So um yeah, you can choose a mount for me to use. And, and that's your redemption. Um, lifelong female prisoner person, really, if ever felt comfortable with fire showing, which is 65 to 120. So it is a thing. Tights are life. Yeah, you can get like opaque tights and stuff like that. Um, I tend to prefer leggings, um, but tights are also like opaque stockings and stuff like that are also an option. Um, and tend to, they, they do tend to come in more colors and stuff like that. Leggings, although it has been getting better, vast majority of leggings are just like black. Um, which of course, you know, if you've got a, a bright pink and purple summery dress, black leggings might not be the goal there. You might want to have like, you know, 
pink or purple leggings, but um, yeah, stockings, you're more likely to find the, the brighter colors and stuff. However, the stockings don't protect as well from cold. Yeah, experimentation is key. Have fun with it, play around, see what you like. See what you like. All right, on to the heart of the forest. Um, I only had a text though, I didn't see a choice to choose from. That's because I have 650 mounts. You can't put a 650 option drop down. Um, Twitch redemptions do not allow you to put in a drop down menu. It's, it's either like they would just redeem it and whatever it is just automatically happens or they have to like type in an option or something like that. There There is no choose from this list. That's not a thing that exists on Twitch's backend. Um, I think of leggings as tights. Uh, yeah, no, le like for me, they're, they're quite, they're different. <laughs> like leggings have hole at top for waist and hole at bottom for ankles. Stockings don't, and they're also not made of fabric. They're like much, much thinner. Um, so that's kind of, yeah, they're, yeah. Very different to me. Ah, uh, it's on top, forget there's a different meaning. Footless thin pantaloons, lightweight yoga pants. Yes, indeed. Well, I mean, yoga pants and leggings to me are the same thing. Cause you do yoga in leggings. So, so, <laughs> so yoga pants are leggings. But obviously someone else may define that differently as well. Um, have I got, I do, is that Corthia or is that, that's Corthia. I don't think I have any more. Alright, let's see if we can. Uh, I need to type the name of mount, correct. Tights aren't as comfortable. Assume we're doing men's tights, I have space for stuff there. Um, considering that people aren't going to be seeing that either, like, I mean, you know, you do you. If that's your fashion choice, then go for it. But I am, I'm assuming you're planning on wearing, like, something over them. Rip a hole. Like, like, literally cut through the seam. Give yourself the space that you need. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, to man chat, can you use it? It just looks cool. I hadn't considered cutting a hole. There you go. That's an option. Um, yeah, I had a, a friend who borrowed a pair of my stockings for a party he was going to, and I got them back with a hole in them. <laughs> so... <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, he was very, very drunk, and he didn't realize that there was a hole in them when he kind of, like, washed them and then packaged them up and then gave them back to me, and when I went to put them on, I'm like, um, hey... Like, sent him a photo, was like, oh my god, I do not realize I did that. I am so sorry, I will buy you a new pair. <laughs> it was really quite funny. Remove them from the Christmas card list. No, he, I, I knew the kind of party he was going to. And um, I, I kind of assumed, I, I saw the, I, like, I pulled them on and I'm like, But I was not, I was not upset. Um, I, I had a couple of very similar pairs of, of stockings that I could grab out and change into and then just kind of send a photo of that one. So it was, it was not a big deal. Um, but yeah, it was kind of funny. Uh, there's definitely one way to fix the problem. Indeed. Indeed. I mean, you know, people do clothing alteration all the time. They, they can turn, you know, a pair of pants into a bag. They can turn a t-shirt into a, a crop top. They can they can turn a sweater into a skirt. They can do all sorts of magnificent magical things. Why can't we alter, like, stockings as well? Absolutely. Uh, okay. So I don't have the ability to make Valfear happen. There are no groups for it. Is there anyone in chat who is a night fae who has access to the, I think it's level three of the, um, what's it? Uh, 
I don't think I have enough anima to go all the way up to there, but I can start my upgrades because I would—I really need to do it myself, honestly. But I can always just skip the attempt today or for now as well. Like I can do it later. Thank you, stocking into net for having. Yes, on your way. Oh, apathy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm heading back to Heart of the Forest just to start an upgrade to hopefully unlock it eventually. Um, but I'll head straight back out there once I've uh, started the upgrade. That's so kind of you, thank you. Bam. So where it's the anima conductor, isn't it? Is it? I think it's tier three of the conductor. Yeah, Tiana Scythe, channel anima to Tiana Scythe, allowing you and your allies to challenge an elite foe. Okay, um, I don't have enough to start the next upgrade for that because it's a five k. I've only got two and a half kind of sort of K, but that's all right. I'll get there eventually. Uh, Ozzy, Zam, Sika, and V, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Maybe when I'm doing my other attempts on stuff, I'll end up with a bit more Amina. Uh, here we go. Loyalty token chest. Someone already activated and pulled shit. Good chat. Better go do stuff. Inspection Friday. Enjoy. Have fun. Best of luck. Hopefully it works out well for you. Um, I will... On my way... Oh, this is where I'm meant to be going. 50%? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to make it in time. Um, but that's okay. Um, maybe I can hang out a little longer and another one will come along. Because I don't think he actually has like a respawn timer as such. I think it's just when you activate it. But I could be wrong. Damn it. Just missed. Bugger! Right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Take two. Electric boogaloo. in bear form still, or bear spec. I've had five attempts, this is number six. Ah, uh, Talc, is that you? Apathy. If you're also Night Fae, do you wanna, do you wanna travel with me? For the, actually, you might already have the other mounts. Oh, oh, someone has saluted me with respect. I'm, I'm not sure who that is. Um, oh well. Okay. Uh, Valfia done. Oh, okay, Corthia. Um, I don't think I actually have the portal to Oroboros in, in my heart of the forest, but I can take a flight path, I reckon. Let's go to Kothia. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, you got your spinach noodle? Amazing. That's awesome. Fingers crossed I'll get mine soon. I mean, I've only had one attempt, so I don't see it happening anytime soon, but it'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> You're right there, dupe. You feeling okay? You've been having some uh, some typing mishaps lately. Hey, don't know spinach noodle is at this point. I'm too afraid to ask. Fair, fair. Uh, it's this one. It's this one. It's the elongated fox. And he's green, so spinach. Yeah, this one. <clears throat> right, I... What is... What are the... Oopsie. What are the callings? Grove Wardens, Grove Wardens... Grove. Is it seriously Triple Night Fae? Eh? Oh, good lord. Okay, so I can't do Uzi Necro Re-Egg today. Um, oh, I had a voice changer. I'll have to do that. Okay. Ah, uh, my people doesn't have little notches in the F and J. Ah, gotcha. Can you, like, mark the keys yourself somehow? the hell out of them with a Stanley knife! Well, yeah, I mean, because you can pop the key off and then brace it against something and, and score it or something. I'm not sure if that's something that you want to do, but maybe it'll help. You about the like a pocket's handbag. Handbag. Oh, it looks like it's already up. <laughs> Fair enough. I won't offer my opinion. Because you know what it's going to be anyway. But I respect that different people have different needs. And that's okay. Yeah. Handbag, messenger bag, satchel sort of thing. Yep, that's close enough to a handbag. Close enough to a handbag. Mine isn't a traditional style handbag anymore either. I have a... I actually don't know if it's proper leather or like like animal leather or if it's like vegan leather or something. I know it's not plastic leather, like it's not like the old school stuff. Um, it's nice and it's lasted me quite a while. Uh, but it's a backpack. It's like a miniature backpack that's made of something that's leather presenting. Um, <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm not sure what the appropriate phrase is there, but leather presenting makes about as much sense, right? So let's um, let's go with that. Uh, it seems to be leather, and it's a backpack, uh, because I was finding that I was having, like, unbalanced amount of pain in the shoulder that I would use for my handbag, um, and I tried using an across thing, and it still, I ended up having too much pain in that shoulder as well, and so I ended up getting a really nice backpack, um, a really nice leather backpack that, um, I now use, and I've been using that, uh, I got that, I started using it last pack, so 2019, so it's like what two and a half years old now um and it's really nice i got it from strand bags strand bags i i definitely recommend for reasonably priced good quality stuff 
Um, like it's not designer, it's not ridic- I mean you can get a couple of designer things there, but they're not like- it's not ridiculously priced, it's just it's good quality stuff at a reasonable price. Not cheap! It's definitely not cheap, but it's reasonable, it's appropriate, in my experience anyway. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's what I do. But yeah, there's like any- any kind of bag is basically what you're looking at. Um, but when a- a- when it's not a traditional big bulky backpack, um, generally gets ended ends up being termed a handbag of some kind uh you're attaching like bags or something to inside so i could create more pockets um bernadette banner is a youtuber she makes her own clothing uh in the style of centuries past um and everything is exceptionally good quality and all that kind of stuff and she's got a video on how to add pockets to clothing that exists that does not have pockets um, and I'm pretty sure she's got a couple of different techniques depending on like the style of clothing because not all clothing will fit the same pattern if that makes sense. Um, so yes, but keeping in mind that she is a professor professional uh, seamstress, like she does it for a job as well as making her own stuff. It is her passion but also her job. Um, so you will likely require some like sewing machine practice and stuff like that uh, if you don't have it already. You may already have that, but if you don't, that will be something that you'll need um, probably to be able to uh, follow her guides, but they'll be damn good quality and your clothing won't fall apart or look like crap from the outside. That's and that's what I like. <laughs> Alterations that don't look like they've been done by me as a five-year-old. Because um, <laughs> I'm bad at... The okay, Anima Farm. Oh, crap. Right, I'm, I'm farming Anima, so now I need to go to... Place... Uh, ZM. Actually, did I- how much of ZM did I end up doing? I haven't finished it yet. So this is where we got up to last Mount Farm Monday. And we got there in an hour and twenty, so that's good. Because remember I had to unlock, um, Corthia and stuff last time. So that's a thing. <gasps> Mariti! You are not prepared! Hello! Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day. How was your stream? What did you get up to? If you haven't been here before, I'm Fia. It is lovely to meet you. I am mostly a World of Warcraft streamer. They're like 95% at this point. Um, <laughs> and today is Mount Farm Monday where I'm trying to get more mounts because 650 isn't enough. Um... Uh, I love Logitech 2 when I'm moving away from G15. I've had it probably 10 years. Yeah, but I need to switch back up because the alt key stopped working. Yeah, that sucks. Bought my backpack for show bags. One of those that has a lumbar support and two straps. Fantastic. Hello, Enyo. I'm pinning bags or something to the inside. How will you access those bags on the inside of your clothing? Also, keep in mind that anything that you put inside those bags is going to add weight that will pull down on the pin. So how will that affect, like, will the clothing kind of fold in on itself because of the extra weight? Like, that kind of, these are, this is why, like, clothing alteration isn't just as simple as, like, stick something here. Unless you're adding decoration to the outside, if you're adding something functional that's designed to carry weight, it needs to be done properly. Um, otherwise, it will cause issues long term with your clothing. Um... His pockets is yes, so just as pockets is compulsory that you tell and show everyone because it's amazing. Correct, Miko. Correct. All right, I am going to change my voice. I, I am now. No idea. Thanks to Duplicate Helix, timer has begun. My voice has changed thanks to the blue microphones. Yeti X World of Warcraft edition mic. In addition to being absolutely gorgeous, with runes all over the outside of it. Well, not all over, but like on the base and then like around the dial that light up to show like your volume and gain and stuff like that. Um, uh, it also comes with some built-in voice effects that are inspired by World of Warcraft characters and creatures. Uh, it also has a whole bunch of voice lines and, and sound effects inbuilt that you can play uh, directly from the software. Uh, fantastic for anyone who likes doing voices or has a purpose for doing voices, say like DMing Dungeons & Dragons games, things like that. Um, or for someone who wants to sound like Something different from it. It's good fun. Welcome Raiders indeed! Welcome on in, Ramok! I mean, as a five-year-old Fia, her alteration skills are age-appropriate. Correct, they are. But 32-year-old Fia does not want to wear them. 
<laughs> uh, not clothing, bags, on the bag, Mr. Man. Why do you need to attach bags to your bag? I'm confused. The bag is already a bag. Ah, uh, Smithy, going direct. Can you anything? In. Yay! Halfway through that one. Fantastic. A bunch of keys. Wonderful. Well done. I'm glad you had a wonderful day. Um, tell us to fear for our lives, puny mortals. I can't figure. Yeah. No, I can't because. <laughs> trifling gnome. You face Draxus! Paragon Lord of the Trifling Gnome. Yep. That's, that's basically it. Oh, another hydrate. Uh, I need more chromatic rosids. Another hydrate. Indeed. Indeed. Sorry for this understanding, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, I thought you were talking about adding pockets to a, 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 a dress or a skirt or something, which is absolutely a noble goal. Um, I just don't have time to do anything like that. Um, I would love to, though. I've got a few dresses that I would love to add pockets to. Um, but yeah, there's a. Uh, it's a little bit confused about adding bags to a bag. All right, delivering the chromatic rosettes to Tamara. It is a particularly beautiful day. And then de demoning myself. There we go. Um, heard our Lord of the Burning Legion. Yep, sorry, I did get that wrong. I got the line wrong. My bad. I feel like I need a list of cool lines for Fia to say when she's point has changed. I'm assuming the headphones are hard to understand what Fia is saying. It's fair. It sounds like she's in witness protection! What look. Yeah, today? look. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Um... What if I accidentally got another Aurelid from Ericon? Aw, hell yeah, thank you so much for the cheer. Much appreciated. Thank you so much for your generosity. I hope you're having a lovely day. Welcome to chat as well. I notice it's your first time chatting. Very kind of you. I meant really into my message bag, adding like a sandwich bag in size, so there'd be more pockets and didn't have to root around in one main pocket for everything. Ah, okay, so adding like separators. Yeah, see, every messenger bag I've had has had that like built in. Like even if it's just like an extra flap of cloth on the inside of it. Um, that's really interesting. Yeah, I, the only thing I'd be concerned, concerned about is, like, the pins doing damage to the fabric and stuff. Especially if, like, you put something a little bit hefty inside the bag that's pinned, and then as you're moving around it shuffles, and so every time it shuffles and shifts its weight it kind of yanks at the pin a bit. Like, it had... Although, I mean, I guess that's not super important to some people. Um, it's something that's important to me, but that doesn't mean it's important to everyone, you know? So, yeah, it's, uh, I'm sure you'll find a solution that works well for you. Separators, okay. Yeah, that's, that's kind of, mine have always kind of, like, so you'll have, like, the messenger bag, and then along one, one along side of it, it'll have one big long pocket designed for, like, slitting, slotting your, um, laptop into, or your tablet or something, so that it doesn't move around a whole lot, and it just kind of stays up against the wall. And then it'll have, like, maybe three sections on the other side. Um, even my even my backpack, my little leather backpack that I told you about, has sections inside. Like inside the big open part, there's like two pockets that kind of hang off the wall. Um, that I can like one I put like a uh, one I've got a little pack of tissues in, and then the other one I've got like a little mirror in a little pocket thing, um, for a protective case. Um, and that's kind of like I'll stick in if I'm if I'm wearing lipstick, I'll grab the lipstick and stick it in with the mirror, so it's like there next to it touch-ups or whatever um yeah i don't think i've ever had 
Even my handbags. I don't think I've ever had a bag ever that didn't have separation, like separators in it. It's really odd. Interesting. Okay. Um, just me, the screen notifications for Chia subs are not showing. Ah, uh, they should be. I'm hearing them. I saw the subs earlier, like when we had the hype train, they were definitely playing. Uh, I think I saw the cheers this time. I mean, putting an item in this, you probably create stress on the pin. It may result in being in fatigue. Yeah, exactly. Even if it's not, even if it doesn't rip, it could eventually leave like two holes where the pin kind of goes in and comes out again. Um, but I mean, if that's like a, a minor visual thing that you don't really care about, then hey, go for it. Um, I'm just super protective of my stuff sometimes, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it's so super odd that. It didn't come with that already. That's Shall we yeah, interesting. Um, hello, Ruddy. What's that damage display add on called? Uh, what damage? Oh, um, the scrolly thing. I'm like, I don't have damage meters. What are you talking about? No, the scrolly thing is MSBT. Uh, mix scrolling battle text. It's been around for over a decade. Uh, exclam exclamation add ons will get you a list of all my add ons, and it's there under M for Mary. Because uh, they're in alphabetical order. It has a link there for you to get it um, from Curseforge. If that's something that you would like to do. Uh, hello, Phoenix. Fear is a dragon. Aren't, hang on. Am I a cyborg, a vampire, or a dragon? I'm confused. Ernie, where's Ernie? Ah, next to me. Uh-oh. Um... Where the Zelda bag made main core it's smaller inner pocket, larger outside pocket, but not separators. Ah, so the smaller inner pocket is the one that I'm kind of talking about, I guess. But yeah, a lot of like the, the branded stuff is really crappy when it comes to actual utility. They spend all the money on the licensing permissions and then none of it on actually developing a useful product. Ugh. Like I, I, I think I've had three or four branded handbags in the past, like Night Before Christmas and stuff like that, and they've all been shit. <laughs> Every last one of them. They've looked really cute and they've just been absolute crap for actual usability. So I've just stopped Must buying fandom stuff because it's just, it's a waste of money. In my opinion. In my opinion. Um, or for me. For my purposes. Um, T-shirts? Absolutely. Although a lot of them seem to not be the right fit on me either, but it's okay. Um, oh, such a small, inexpensive, and removable bags. Indeed. There you go. Sphere Dragon. You're very welcome, Roddy. Not a worry. Uh, how are you? I'm doing really well today, Phoenix. Thank you for asking. How are you? Hope you're well. Blessings to you. Bucket bag is made daily. Three smaller bags in it. There you go. Here is Bear Druid at the moment. Yeah, I forgot that I was in Bear Spec, so... Eh, whatever. It's fine. It'll work. Things die. Cyborg Vampire Dragon. Cyborg Vampire Dragon. <sighs> oh dear, I've only started walk up recently, believe it or not. Have a lot to learn. Of course! That's alright, take your time. There's 17 years worth of stuff to learn. So, <laughs> uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I like helping. Helping's nice. Makes me feel good. Baby tune da 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 baby tune da 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 Makes me feel like I bring value to my fellow humans. <laughs> Even if it's just a little bit. Um, good thanks, good to hear it. You come to the right place, indeed. Stuff, get the things, yas, jas. Oh, does that mean you're home? Uh, I wonder how I could create separators. Separators would be a really easy job, I reckon, to like, so, I know, like, if you don't have a sewing machine, obviously those are quite expensive, but if you can borrow some from somewhere, having, like, a, a thing that runs the length that, like, no opens up problem. into, like, three pockets, because that way it can sit down the middle so you can have things either side and then three pockets to put things in as well. I've always found that that was a really convenient layout for my messenger bags. I had a couple that were designed like that and they worked really well. But yeah, that would have involved obviously some uh, some skilly worky stuff. 
So the theme magic, yes. It's better than none, indeed. Our home, brilliant. Not me hearing baby chain running during the washing out, baby Jess. Yes, that's hilarious. I'll be back in a second. I do have a chair stream, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use that. Run away, little girl. Run away. Prepared. Rude of chair to not express gratitude for the raid. What are you doing? Like, what are you, like, come on, be nice. <laughs> Hello, Luca, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream? What were you up to? What y'all doing? Welcome on in, Luca and Therila and Cheshire. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Listen to me usually. Correct. I'm here. I'm here. Hello, it may. Thank you for the caster command, Jas. Much appreciated. Chair. So inconsiderate. I know, right? Look, look. Maybe Chair's getting used to Chair's new body. Oh, I have another stretch. I'll do the stretch. Thanks for my dungeons. Wonderful. How are you? I'm doing very, very well. Thank you so much for asking. No new mounts yet, but look, we're getting there. I'm, uh, working my way. <clears throat> the jailer without help from the enlightened yes the uh the mount on my list at the moment it has to be purchased with anima so interesting we all um, have what can i help you there. stop asking for favors you cannot return i will help you uh, if you help me oh my god stop talking so i can do the crazy thing Elder Ara, we are in your Um head. Love your accent. <laughs> Thank you. I believe Uh which is it? Good question. Um 
Uh, where is it? Uh, enchant- no. I've already got the enchanted shade leaf rune stag. It must just be the shade leaf one. Yeah, it's the shade leaf rune stag, this one. I've already got the enchanted one. Um, but I don't have the- the basic one. Um, so I am trying to grind up some amenu to, uh... I will travel ahead. Meet me to outside do that. Do I have any to contribute, actually, speaking of? Oh, I do. <laughs> I'm sitting at 2,434 at the moment, so not, not a ton. But ZM is where it's at, so hopefully. Do you have enough characters and such that it is feasible to be shipping anima across characters? Um, potentially at some point, yes. But none of them have any. Really, like not not that much. Um, Fia does have like 20k at the moment, but she's also got a few things she has to buy. Um, so yeah, the other alts don't have enough to to shuffle it. If I had like if I had a bunch of them actually in ZM, this is only my second tune that I've brought into ZM. So once this one's done and paid for and stuff, if I come to a thing where I need to buy a different one, I can kind of do a ZM round on each one and then send them all through sort of thing. But I need to unlock the whole thing first. So you are still So just questing through at the moment and trying to get as much as we can. Shall we converse? Hmm. Nice. Yeah, it's a pretty one. It's a pretty one. We've got 650 mounts, so I'm working on number 651. I don't know what mount that will be, uh, but 651 is a good number. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I was in bear spec because the the big dude up the top of the cliff killed me. Na, 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 na. Good evening, Dunno. How's it going? Very well, thank you for asking. I hope you can say the same. Scout complain, fantastic. Glad to hear it. Up ahead. I think I see something amidst the rubble. <laughs> Look, it's not too close, but it's still close enough to be a little bit uncomfortable. Buttons are working. Dunno, Bod, and Dew. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Can I click the button, please? There we go. Um, onwards we go to the new battle. Link is in chat. In chat. Should be soon. Very shortly. Link is in chat. Join us. Place your units. Wait, why is Link not in chat? What is going on? 
Exclamation battle will get you your link. You can follow the link, drag and drop, yeah, log in with your Twitch account and then drag and drop your units to the battlefield to join us. Yes. Ah, uh, so to be get killed for me twice as a stream. People get better luck than me. Oh, worlds. I'm so sorry to hear that. Fingers crossed for you next time, hey. Fingers crossed. We're alive. Well done, Sheaves. Welcome back. There we go. So battle is still working. It's just the bot kind of went splat. You see the assassins have failed again. Sam! It's not very nice. Or maybe not better assassins because we don't want Shiva to die. Come on. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's about 1 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. I've kind of realized at this point, if I lie down horizontally on my bed, whether I intend to or not, it is nap time. So I just have to not do that if I'm not supposed to be napping. Because if I nap, I won't sleep that night, which is trash. It's a concerning noise. An unsettling shriek erupts from the room to the east. Appropriate description. As I've never said they sent the assassins. I'm just meeting on Friday because of it. Yeah. Especially during work hours. Mm, I snuck on my last week today. At least I have you able to keep me company. Indeed. Indeed. Fish for the stupid jellyfish again? Indeed. You can do it. I believe in you. If I can do it, you can do it. Hey, Ellie. Sim for a lurk? Of course. Enjoy your lurk. Hope you are doing wonderfully today. Take 
good to see you doing very current content or something that isn't your mage, by the way. I know, it feels weird as well. Can confirm. Feels super weird. This is where we get the Animu, though. So, uh... This is how we do it. <clears throat> a mamana. Nah, 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 nah. That's exactly right. I've been earwormed. Sorry, apathy. My bad. Wow. Also, sheep is bad, but. Prime Gaming sub. Much appreciated. Welcome to the Fianati. You're having a fantastic day. She was always stuck in my head for some reason. It is a very catchy tune. Very, very, very catchy tune. I should get back in, indeed. Nice. Nice and easy then. Mm, good morning! Keep doing what you're doing, love the stream. His son and I watch when he's not going to school. Oh, lovely. That's super light, that's super nice. I need a... One day I will craft them all, but it is not this day. <clears throat> I think when I go back to town, I need to check my talents because I have a feeling they're wrong for this macro. Please, I have to start crafting mounts. Awesome, Shiva. First step will be to go around and get all the recipes. It's the best bit. All that completionist crap. I need the blue friend first, need the mountain matches. My pets, of course, of course. Uh, the blue friend's pretty easy to get. Which is good. The drop seems pretty high.
one more. I want to kill the tigers. They're annoying. Where's the little one? There we go. Perfection. Uh, that was in reference to a Pidgey. Renown 80 just by doing the storyline. Good lord. Wait, 78 as well. Jesus. Take the fragments to wherever they glow the brightest. Fragments are reacting to this translocator. Perhaps now you can use the device. It is not working? Nothing is easy. Well then, retrieve the fragments. Greetings. What have you learned today? Well, spring. <laughs> yeah, but I caught plenty of, of Zubat. It was a Pidgey that was causing issues with catching the bloody thing. Yes. Nice. Uh, it is you. Apologies. I am preoccupied. Blessings to you. Ah, Hi, the sun well. Ah, Storm! Thank you so much for the race of three months, my gosh. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. I hope you're doing well. You're doing super well. I should say believes, not believes. Much as it is. Well. Absolutely it is. Absolutely it is. Don't, don't ever diminish that. Don't diminish that. Not worth. Uh, do you have the Raven Flight from Free Druid? If not, you have an Alliance Druid. Get it from Stormwind, then log it onto your horde. No, I don't. I, I actually, I don't know if I do or not. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm fine with what I've got. It suits. It's okay. It is. It's a troll, so it it makes sense. Like in my head, it it looks like a troll. Like a flappy troll, literally. Ha ha ha. See what I did there? <laughs> yes, don't forget to contribute to the uh, the stream challenge this week. It's a puzzle game designed for two people that Jas and I will play together. But each of us only gets like half the information to solve the puzzles. Gotta to work together to do it which will cause me many stress. <laughs> the entrance to the Catalyst wards is blocked with vines. You must find a way in. Meet us at the gardens when you're right. done. Showed up as in like, attackable? No, just hanging out, okay. Uh, should we be great for clips? Yes. Indeed. But we gotta get there first. What are we up to? 17%. We gotta get to 25% today in order to be on track to get the goal by the end of the week. Those eyebrows gonna see the best troll in chat, gang. So you see the best troll in the chat. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, I will harm you. You will, you will lift. Oh no! I, God damn it! No, you know what? I'm leaving this and I'm going and checking my goddamn talents. The stress, all the stress, indeed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh dear. I know it because I knew it'd be able to play. Oh look, I'm right. I reckon I could find someone. Uh, it's not remote play to see, it's two separate PCs. Like, otherwise we could just look at each other's screens to figure it out. Uh, right, I'm doing this. I'm just checking my talents because something doesn't feel right. One, three, 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 one, one. Okay, no, all right. Uh, that's why, okay, so it's not a... I'm going to grab a new macro, I reckon, because... Something's not right with this one. I'm gonna cause you stress! The fun kind of stress. Okay, uh, I want Guardian. See if this works. should hopefully make things move a little faster. Um, stupid internet, why can't you give me the answers I need? What are you, what answers are you looking for? Oh gosh, excuse me. Crackle and pop. Another stretch. Kill the cultivator.
Hmm. That's a good question. Does it actually matter? Like, do you need to just do it anyway? For the cultivator to respawn. Always again. Yeah, but you can't know that until later on anyway, can you? Yeah, I think the solution here, Jas, is you need to do it and then provide the answer yourself. They go. So that's why the answer isn't anywhere outside of the internet, uh, like on the internet, because the answer's in the bloody game. You just put it in and you press the button and it, it shows you what's gonna happen. Hello, Meaty. Able to learn a clip newest house or member. The little poopy machine with huge feet. Wonderful. Congratulations. It's really a big opportunity right now. Oh, excuse me. check yeah so that's what that's what Kaz is saying just is you put it in and you press okay and then it says are you sure you want to do this this is what you're gonna get and then you can say no if it's not what you want it's pretty straightforward Nice day, you too. I hope you are as well. God's sake, stop it. I'm having a pretty good day, I reckon. It was fairly productive. Nice feeling. To lurking, enjoy your lurk. Hope work treats you kindly. Thing. There you go. Better try. Very item or should I get the stupid jellyfish? Yeah, it's kinda cool, hey. Not not a bad it's a fairly fairly valuable click. Not a bad thing. The progenitor essential. Progenitor thingy indeed. Oh, it does drop from any kind of gathering. Includes fishing.
79. We're real close. Oh, there we go. Who is that? 80. That's weird. That feels a bit odd. I'm actually up to date on Renown on one of my alts. We came, Draven. We. Do not let your guard down. My blade is yours. Ah, uh, if you're gonna love this, my fishing animal gives me stats what I caught, how much what I caught, percentage of everything I, I caught. Grateful. I used to use fishing buddy in the past. Ah, Landa, thank you so much for the for the do uh, the donation. God, I lost the word there for a second. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Uh yeah, I used to use fishing buddy, but um eh, I just kinda got bored of it. There were a few features that I was relying on it for and they stopped working. So I stopped using it. But yeah, it is it is fun for the data. Um mm. oh, I'm in combat. Maybe I'll actually get 5k anima today. Maybe. Do we think I can? What am I on now? Just under 2,500. There is a Corthian relics though, not anima. Oh, I have to kill stuff. Oh, okay. Um. Um, doesn't you think you'll reach it easy? Okay. That's a good thing. I like that estimate. Was there no Shadowland fishing achieves added? Um, there was just the leveling uh, Shadowlands fishing. As far as I'm aware, there weren't any others. Shadowlands fisherman. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. There also aren't a lot of places to fish in Shadowlands, so there's that. time.
stream rate is having a bit of a time today, isn't it? Open the chest, come on. Take me with you. There we go. Matey Thor and Miko, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Now we gotta wait for there we go, there's the button. Today it is usually pretty slow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean some days it's not super noticeable though. Other days it really, really seems to be. That's all. Loading, loading. Everything is fine. Maybe you guys have already. Maybe you guys can load it up already if you jump through that link. Yep, there you go. People already placing it. I can't yet. Wonderful. There we go. Yeah. I do have a quest. All is fine. Yes, correct. my monks so collect that I'm slowly but surely working on the assists there we go okie dokie Reasons I love druids. <laughs> That's it. I wonder if blasting through Corthia will get me like a huge chunk of anima as well. Like the storyline. We will soon set foot upon this creation catalyst. After I finish Corthia, uh, after I finish Zam, obviously. All those little extra bits of gear from Zam will probably help in Corthia on, too. Until we meet once more. It is working! Large bear. <laughs> None of this is counting towards patterns with the patterns. Oh, um, I remember when you had to buy flying creature so I pop had that book you had to get for each tune. Yep. Anyone interested in a photo of a dobs in Discord? Yay! Fantastic. <laughs> no, 
really hoping this closest counts for like most of that bar. It did not. <laughs> oh well. Off we go. Turning this fun time rest. <laughs> New helmet. Woo. Onward and upward. The sky cannot be trusted. Pretty sure it's the things in the sky that can't be trusted, just... Okay. <laughs> Come on. Less talky, more clicky puzzles. Activate the symbols in the correct order. Ah, a symbol. That was right. I'm aware. There, another. The same symbol. Well done. Actually. Well done. So patronizing. This guy could fall onto our heads. True, look. Maybe. A new symbol. Lag. Another. Well done. Yeah. The next tile, quickly. Keep it up. Well done. You have successfully restored the translocator key. Then let me click it. Farewell. a bit of gear in my bags. Um. <laughs> oh god. I do not even know the context for that quote. Hey Jas, do you remember what that was? Considering it was you who said it. The jailer has breached the sepulcher, then he is but a breath away from enacting his plan. There you go. We cannot allow that to happen. Tell the other. More upgrades. Jesus. Holy shit, I'm 213. My god. Okay. Oh, 
Ah, that's cute, Kaz. I like that. Should have dropped an unholy beat down on that rogue's ass right after two. Yeah, probably. That sounds like something you'd do. That sounds like something you'd do. Hey, Jas, do we have anything that's like dessert worthy? I don't think we do. I think the only thing we have is cookie ingredients. Maybe I'll make cookies tomorrow. Maybe I'll have more free time tomorrow. We all have a duty to thought. <clears throat> Anduin, can we you all allow me to smart. Mr. We will face Zoval needed to dominate the Atoma to enter. Zoval needed to dominate the Atoma to enter the sepulchre. Yet they did not succumb immediately. Oh, I have one of those crescents. If we use the helm of domination, the noodle. we may be able to discover the source. I should of use their that. Resistance. Should we use it? After all the devastation it's caused. If we can find a way to resist domination, it is worth the risk. We stand together against the darkness. I volunteer. Ah, the more I can walker. bear this pain again for the good of the many. Take the helm, champion. You have the best chance of using it without giving it yourself. The power! Is this too much? its power more fortunate see course, if I got any more remains disturbing. I don't think I have any more anima my heart for okay. Ardenweed. that whole chapter didn't give me any anima patience patience one moment please let me uh, I actually unlock this because this might make things die faster. Uh, Sunia is still best. We have some elements. What's that? One of the wilds is there. Swift patrol, then. Well honed instincts, which I think is the one I just unlocked from uh going in this direction in this one. This direction and putting in this one. This direction and this one with this one. And this one. There we go. Cool. Greetings, sir and lord, ma'am.
Sometimes. Okay, cool. Let's go do some stuff. No desserts. Since when do we have desserts? I know, but like, I want one. It makes me sad. Things. I have a spare S in the desert. Oh dear. That's fine. Um, just make some cookies tomorrow. Not tonight, obviously. Although, actually, the cookies take so quick to cook, to bake, that I could actually make them after stream today. It'll probably take me 20 minutes max to make them. Including bake time. Okay, don't have mug cake ingredients. Don't have wheat flour, like don't don't have flour in the house. It's fine, there's a reason I don't have dessert stuff in the house. Um just every so often I'm struck with a craving that's a little unfortunate. That's right, I'll figure it out. Oy. That's right, these exploded, didn't they? Pop! That's hilarious. This matter. Okay. Still here kind of underwater and not able to attack. Good. Unflu. It's not what I meant to do. Bloody chickens, bloody dog, let's pop everything immediately. Yeah, look. I can imagine that's easy for you to. came for Darkmoon Fair on Wednesday. Sometimes the language will change right in front of you. I think this adaptation may be what you seek. Meet me in the grotto when you're done. We can Wednesday, test isn't it? Yes, good. There. Even is it? Dark Moon Fair. It's a world event that happens the first week of every month, but starts the first Sunday, Saturday, Sunday of every, every month. I can't remember which. It lasts for a week. So it's up a quarter of the year, and there's a whole ton of collectibles and achievements and stuff like that to get. 
I've got a lot of them, but I don't have all of them. So I'm gonna spend a day just actually focusing on getting some stuff done. The results should be fascinating. Should be nice. There's a whole really, really big guide on uh, where I heard about it. I'd highly recommend giving it a read. Reformation Bolt sounds like a really, really dangerous ability. Most of them before the race. The was added back when. Yeah, I don't have all the collectibles because a lot of them is transmog. Um, like a lot of it's transmog. I've got most of the achievements. I'm missing the ones for the the concert, the metal concert in the cave. Um, I'm missing all those achievements, so that's definitely something I'll have to do every hour on the hour for the entirety of stream. Um, and get people to help with, because it's a really difficult one. Um, and then possibly cycling through characters and doing dailies to get just enough tickets to, to buy bits of transmog or something. I don't know, we'll have to... We'll see what's still on my list when we get there. Luckily, it's something that all my tunes can do, um, which is nice. Mm, still need to go murder that bunny for the pet. Yes. So I'm trying for that damn bunny. I got mine, mine, like, pretty sure I got it, like, first or second try. Like, I didn't realise it was a rare drop, if that makes sense. Drop for 10k on the AH, far out. I'm pretty sure that's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. Because I didn't bother buying the balloons because you can't battle with them, you know? But I do need to get everything. I am trying to save up for the dirigible on Fia though, so no tickets shall be spent on her. At all. War is at hand. Take the helm to the endless sands and infuse it with the language of the first ones. This time I actually got some animal. There you go, I'm over the halfway point, finally. Hmm, it's no more it's a beast to rip your throat out. Indeed, killed it so many times, such a grind. Wait for DMF, wait for spawn, wait for RNG to not suck. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You haven't clicked the button. I mean, you've only been here once before, back in November. So, I mean, I guess maybe you left because it wasn't your jam and that's why you didn't follow. That's okay. You are not a pilgrim. <clears throat> Tiny, tiny little area, not a big ass island. Yeah. When it literally spawned in, like next to Thunderbluff and Stormwind, and we, that wasn't just a portal, it was that was it. Yep. Uh, 
early cow. Um, actually, that might make things easier to see. I can turn off the schematics. Awesome. Oh, and also code. Spheres. Ah, oh, B-Souls. Okay, interesting. Oh, right. Oh, hang on. Did that knock me off the server? It did. I disconnected. Fantastic. Got hit by a, a thing knocking me off a mount and get disconnected. Good. Wonderful. Anyway, if Mission World is so dangerous, cause the sky to light up and drop some bloke called Karl Marx into your lap. Oh, dear. What the fuck was that helm? Okay, I need to transmog. Good. That caught me by surprise. I was not expecting to see that when I logged back in. Oh. Hey Jess, you hungry? It's pretty powerful. It does. It sounds it, doesn't it? I fears worry about her mog. Oh, no, it just like the the circle thing with the dot in the middle. Just kind of like, oh lord, I don't like that. It frightened me a bit. Not my thing. Yeah, I've actually been mogging, like, all my tunes. One set across everyone, mind you, but I've still been mogging them. I thought you'd all be proud. Okay. Oh no. I lost what changes I made because I got DC'd. Okay. It's there. It's there. Why can't I? God damn it. Um, alright, reopen close tab. No, no, the other close tab. Is that me? Yeah, fair. Fair. Spy as well done. Congratulations. <clears throat> there is much to be done. Remember, you can use the helm shard against the Morse Sworn if you need the extra strength. Here's one. This phrase really doesn't make any sense, does it? Oh, just looking at it makes my head spin. That oh, feeling like in your the mind that. is the quality that makes domination less effective. Oh, 
only 12 people died. Wait, aren't there only five in there? Meaty Thor, Dew, Ali, Sika, and Bond. Congratulations to you all on your bonus shit. He was always there for me growing up. Just blame the Someone healer. Look up to. Oh, place. that's not very nice. Um, rogue. I can place a rogue. Awesome. I have to slay more swan. It's a domination ability to make them weaker. Make sure you follow that link in chat, guys. Stream Raiders Battle, a new one is up. Follow the link, log in with your Twitch account, and drag and drop those units to the battlefield. Super, super, super easy to play. And uh, we're not, we're fine with level one units. We're fine with whatever you want to place. We don't, uh, we don't do a whole lot of strategizing and whatnot here. So feel free to place whatever you need to place for your own strategies. I just don't the healer. Make sure to blow him up every single time. Good. Well done. deaths what you do with your pets I wouldn't dare comment on oh no oh dear oh you piece of fuck off seriously I've been farming that on fear since day one god damn it God damn it. Whatever. That's fine. Hopefully whatever I get from it is account wide. The dominance key. The one that Jack got three of and you didn't get any of that, that time when we were farming. Buff the drop rate? Okay, alright. Thank you. That makes me feel a lot better. Means I might be able to get one on fear as well. Should go use it while I'm here though, because that anima will come in handy. But yeah, treasures is Aerith Mortis. It's part of the goddamn achievement, and I don't have it on fear. Peace to me off. Oh, 
cosmetic two hand sword. Send that to someone who can wield it. <clears throat> Hang on, when did they buff the drop rate? Was it like recently or like weeks back? Guys! Uh, Mount Get! <laughs> oh my god. Fifteen. Fifteen attempts. I'm really glad I'm glad I clicked on that one. <laughs> at least it's Mount Fun Monday and you won't or you can't get angry at me. I'm assuming all four of the clips are from that. Oh dear, you feckin' what is about right, hey. Thank you very much to everyone for the congratulations. Is it didn't count? Well done. Not sure that's how Mount Farm Monday is supposed to work. What? Oopsie mounts. Oh, I'll bloody take it. <laughs> oh my god. That's fantastic. I'm so pleased by that. Let's go turn these quests in. <clears throat> Apparently there are benefits to having your alts in the current content. I'm pleased with you. Victory! Victory indeed! We have discovered we a relic that attracts Otoma. I think this well could be useful. As well. Come meet with me. Oh, lock is up. Ah! I can bear them to Estus is up as well. Them. Sweet, sweet anima. I don't know, I can actually do this. Uh, is this going to be hilarious? Yes. Alright. Look, it was worth a try. Um. Magic cast on a goop. The most I've fished like ever. Yeah, look, you'll be, you be alright. You'll be alright. Hello, Loz. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Squish the Spooder. Yeah, I think the Spooder is too strong. Isn't really solid, but she got a lot of health. Yeah, but like I'm a tank, so I thought maybe. I don't really know 
what is tankable and what is not because I don't do it very often. So now I've learned. There we go. Um, okay, it's fine. Um, all right, I'm looking into starting fresh on WoW. Ooh, in what way? How are you going to do it? Back my love for it. Gotcha. Change to start again. Fair enough. Best of luck. I hope it works. But if not, that's okay too. You know, sometimes a certain game just doesn't do it, and that's alright. Yes, do it. Come play with us. Interesting. Um, okay. Where do we strike? For Queen okay. and Grove. Two nine seven four. Honestly, I mean, Anima drops a lot, but I don't. Mm, I don't know. I will await your return. Sleep all the time. Oh, wonderful. Oh, that'll be great fun. So good to hear. Well, I'm biased because I play a fire mage, so... Probably not the best person to ask. You I also really confident. dislike Shadow Priest. Warrior is not bad though. Healing, it's all I've ever really done. There you go. Try something completely different. Honestly, Warrior might be your best bet then, because that way you get to play around with tanking and DPS. Granted, you don't get to play around with ranged DPS, but like that's what ults are for, right? Yeah, you like it, Jess? I did a thing. <laughs> Tank before enough me. Okay, fair enough. Well then, yeah, I guess it's down to whether you want to do uh, ranged or melee DPS, eh? Hey? 
Death Knight, best class. Priest and Mage would recommend Mage, not really done anything GPS. I'm guessing for when it which must not be named is said. Yep, we do have rules here. And uh, it's important for people to abide by them. We're we're generally pretty chill. Like honestly, we are we are super chill here. But that doesn't mean we don't have rules. So make sure you know what they are and abide by them, please and care. Thank you. It's like literally the first rule. So that's fun. <laughs> Oh dear. The base trigger, correct. So the mods will still see stuff. Like the mods will still see it and it'll just kind of be deleted, we'll crossed out, that kind of thing. Um, draw out the ones that we yeah. need. It is, they go. Is a perilous undertaking, Much easier to have an auto mod. Yeah. Easy. It does mean that I had to go and read it. But um I, yeah, I, I made that decision, because the, the thing is, if people talk about it, I'm gonna see it, because I'm a moderator, technically, right? So I'm going to end up finding out regardless, because people will come in here and be dicks about it. Um, but that way I could read about it on my own terms. Um, and turns out everything they said I already knew anyway, so it's fine. Because of other people spoiling it in chat. So yeah. Uh, to be to to clarify what we're talking about, leaks count as spoilers. Because they could potentially be correct. They could be wrong, but they could be right. And if they're right, it's a spoiler. So do not talk about leaks or spoilers in this chat. Thank Let you. Go next. It's like literally the first rule. I appreciate it. Thank you. Very welcome. Very welcome. Hey, Ian. How are you going? It's announcement to boost. Hi, the Sunwell. <gasps> Closure. Thirteen months. Oh my God. How are you, love? Welcome back. Allow me to offer perspective. Uh, can we talk about affordable Logitech mice? Depends on your definition of affordable. I don't think they have a G series one that's like 20 bucks, but I'm pretty sure they do have like office wear that is that kind of price point. Like stuff that's aimed at, at office workers and, and, you know, having a home office or whatever. Not gamer level stuff, but, um, but still Logitech. Uh, how are you today? I'm doing very well, thank you. I accidentally got a mount earlier, which is great. And, um, I had a really productive day today, so yeah, I'm, I'm doing well. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Trackable. Under 50 USD. Ooh, USD. I don't know. What is... Can someone convert 50 US to AU for me? Because any time I go to any of the logic pages, it's going to geo-shove me to the Australian version. Like, double? It's not quite double at the moment. The Both economies are shit, so it's not as bad as you'd think. Which kind of sucks, because I get paid by Twitch in US, so when the exchange rate's crap, I get paid a fuckload more. So <laughs> I have done all I can. 66 according to Google. Brilliant. Well. This is not the end of your suffering, but it is a step forward. Mm, I did it, Volpera Fire Mage! Fantastic! Wonderful. Alrighty. What on earth is Logi Bolt? I 
You know what? Um, okay, the Logitech website's being a bit of a butt and it won't let you actually see prices. It's like contact sales. So I'm thinking we might head to Walmart instead. Let's see, accessories. No, peripherals. Mouse and mouse pads. Mouse. Once more. Oh, I got a new thing. Into the mall. Let us. Uh, brands. Logitech. Keys. Hot deals in mouse. Good. That's a fantastic sentence, and I love it very much. So if I'm age, yes. Fire Mage is pretty easy to learn, like, as you level, it builds up real slow, so yeah, you'll be... It is tricky at lower levels, because a lot of what your rotation is at 60 is missing until quite late in the game. Um, so leveling can be a little owie, just to keep that in mind. Uh, I should have to save about 1300... Ouch, conversions suck, yeah. Yup. I'm, oh, Axiom, thank you so much for the cheer. Much appreciated. Where is my, oh no, that's hot deals. Oh, best sellers, sort, here we go. There is a Logitech mouse that is $9 Australian. Uh, wide, 45. Okay, so that looks like your first gaming mouse. And it's 45. It's a G203. It's RGB. It's wired. But it's Logitech. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh no, never mind. That's yep, yeah, that's much more expensive. Um so yeah, your your cheapest G mouse that you're looking at is is 45 Australian. So that'll probably end up being like 35 to 38 US. And that's the G203 RGB gaming mouse. It looks like it comes in black and white. Uh, although these days they do uh, bring out things in much fancier colors occasionally. If you're looking for wireless, um, your cheapest G series is like 75 Australian. So it's a little out of the price range for 50 US. Uh, but there are some wireless ones from their, like, business ranges um, that are under their mark. Like, quite a few of them. The hour it is Can I? To remake what has been broken. Uh, yes, a G203 is what I said. Ah, uh, but yeah, wired, um, light sync, RGB, gaming mouse comes in black and or white. Well, actually black or white, it's not, you can't get one that is both black and white unless you like bought two and then like broke them and reassembled them or something, I don't know, don't do that. Probably not a good idea. What is to stop this new helm from being used to enslave others? Um, but they don't do the dash in the name, so it's just G203 uh, as one kind of thing, in case it makes it harder to search for. Never again will a Lich King reign. Uh, click on it just then. No. It won't work if you try to do that. With this reforging, our wills are our own. Um, that's from Umart, so I'm like you might have got generally pretty damn good price points, so it might end up being closer to the 50 US than than I've said. Just as a warning, as well then. I want to use a soldering gun on plastic. I, I will keep the crown close until it is needed again. 
Focus your efforts there on Zoval's defeat. Done. We will finish this. I have 651 mounts. That makes me happy. The wiring when you break it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but the mouse has to hold together as well while you're using it. And you can't really do much with that with a soldering gun. Oh, excuse me. Back in high school, not a shop. We did both. We did both. They were electives, though, so I didn't do them any further than I had to. Um, but we, we did it. The, the class is called woodworking. Um, and... Then yeah, home economics. Yeah, we did both um, for the first two years of high school, and then after that, we got to choose what we wanted to do, what we wanted to focus on. Uh, two years ten, and you liked it. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, we just did it to eight, I think. And then we started choosing. We chose electives in nine and ten, and then chose all our subjects in eleven and twelve because it's VCA. Victorian certificate of education. So I'm from Melbourne. Slash Victoria. fair to me to find. So if you're looking for the mount, that's not from the key. Um, the key was the one that gave me the cosmetic two-handed great, uh, the two-handed sword. Uh, this, that came from the, the one with the, what's it? Uh, and then the mount came from just a Morsworn cache. It can come from any of the Morsworn caches up in that area, which you don't need keys for. They just open freely. Um, which is why I had 15 of them done. We will face but it's a very low drop rate. I just got very goddamn lucky. I am here. Very lucky. I will meet you there. Please hurry. It looks like I'm about three quarters of the way done with the ZM stuff. Oh, 70. There you go. 70%. Um. Yeah, so I'm sure there are other ZM guides like stuff and we'll yeah see if they'll give me some extra anima because i'm not getting much okay, domination cache no ah, what's one? yeah that i i figured that's what I you were thinking that's why i this sort of explainerated before it must have a deeper meaning more walker you re wait i'm so what is happening to, to the under talk -talk -talk is reacting to the oracle I must understand the nature of this connection. You absorb the energy? Can you describe its effects? Quickly, examine the rest. <sighs> you are interrupting my research. Follow, follow, no. Follow. The mortal shall follow. The oracle. She the is speaking through poke poke Not poke poke you nincompoop. Seek the voice. Ascend. Right. This wonderful chunk of the quest line. Ah, uh, Jesus, I'm going to ask my eyes and say, oh, body! Ah, oh, fantastic! There you go. Oh, I wish I had a discount code I could give you, but not yet. It is something that they're working on, but not yet, unfortunately. But I'm so glad that you found one on sale. That's fantastic. Thank <laughs> you. 
never mind. Clean out those drawers again. Destruction. They consume the power in fragile not understanding. Uh, how are you? Hello, Spot. I'm doing quite well, thank you. How are you today? Atop the spires, the vessel awaits. An absence keenly felt. A vacuum that brings collapse. Go stuff and things. Let's wake up and have them through for a week now. Oh no. Well, I hope you feel better real soon, hey? Nothing worse than just feeling incapable of anything, you know? Incapable of life. Right, that's a battle. Empowering Pocka Pock. Damn it, Pocka Pock. Mm. Oh, thank you, I like steak. Um. Where are you going? Pretty good. That's a large thing. Oh, we've we've trounced this battle. That's easy done. Naughty, V, Zem, Dunno, and you. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Am I done? No, not quite. Almost. There we go. Fully empowered. Uh, boss battle time! Loyalty boss chest. If you'd like some extra stuff from the loyalty chest, this is the battle you need to join. Click that link in chat. Log in with your Twitch account. And drag and drop those units to the battlefield. Like so. Done. Nice and easy. God's sake, every time you try to get close to Buckle Buck, he runs away. Analyst anyway, which use I do exclamation add-ons will get you that list. Well. Ah, Fall, thank you so much for the resub. 14 months. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Um, but yes, exclamation add-ons will get you my list. Follow the Um as you made a sale this day, I will. I will. Facilitate one or whatever it is. You're supposed to be doing, yeah! Promoted the brand. Yep. Do the thing. You're very welcome, Spot. Not a worry at all. I actually need the mouse. Must be an angel malfunction. Yeah. They do that after a while, hey, unfortunately. Aw, Spot, thank you so much for the sub! Welcome to the Fianati. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Yay! Like two new subs today. Holy cow. I think it's two. It's like, it's pretty awesome. An automa restored. A purpose provided. 
whole bunch of resubs as well, like a ton of resubs, which is just amazing. Mm. Also, steak is delicious. Enough a few mornings and enjoy your content. I want to support you. Oh, thank you. That helps me learn more about WoW, of course. Oh, that's so kind of you. Thank you so much. It's good to hear. I'll shave it for later. Oh, Lord. Yeah, okay. I'm wearing the wrong head. Oh, no, I am. I'm not. Never mind. I was wrong wearing the wrong headset for last week, but this week I've. Uh, this week I'm wearing. Give me just a second to like get out of the danger zone. There we go. Let's. I have so much crap on my desk. Crap on my desk. Nope, that's the wrong box. But... You're doing a look. Aww. That's very sweet of you to acknowledge. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, it's a, uh, it's a fun time though. The social media management part is the part that actually feels like work. The, the streaming, I mean, okay, sometimes the streaming definitely feels like work. Like if it's been a rough day and stuff like that, it can be a little, uh, it can be a bit full on, not gonna lie. Uh, especially when you've got you know, questionable people in chat and stuff like that but overall the the bit that I find like more work uh, is definitely like the the socials and all that kind of stuff because it's just oh goodness I'm not it's not something that comes naturally to me at all um but I'm working on it what doesn't come natural social media posting and stuff yeah it's fine. thank you so much no I want now <laughs> have steak I am. I've had two bites of steak. Why is it tasty? Mmm. Oh, mm. mm. It's really, really tasty. Really? Well, that's good too. Yes. Thank you very much. It's peach and batch. Mmm. Because we basically. Because there's only a dribble left of each, yeah? Oh. Sorry? With a tiny bit of extra fructose because I only got three scoops. Though. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. It's really yummy. Internet babysitting can be hard. It yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you you're wrong. Uh, uh, okay, so I need to. This one. Bubble Tea Club, if you're interested, by the way. Also, an affiliate program I'm a member of. At home bubble tea, you don't have to get dressed to have bubble tea. Like, how, like that's amazing. Oh, I need more cosmic energy. Oops. Let's refuel. Mm. Sometimes general chat is a mistake. When is general chat not a mistake, Shiba? I haven't been in general chat on fear in literally years. Oh, 
Mm, yes, there's the referral card, the referral link, and the, the discount card. Honestly, though, all the all the affiliate programs and my Twitch income and all that kind of stuff is currently paying for my dental work. Uh, I've got $23,000 worth of work to do. Um, I've done a fair chunk of it, uh, and I've been paying for it as I go, and it's like all the, all the payments that I've already made, uh, well actually not all of them, but like a good chunk of them have come from, I did have some money saved up for it, but it was not nearly enough. So everything that I earn from all of my online endeavors, the affiliate programs, Twitch, donations, sponsorships, anything like that, um, all of that's being funneled into my dentistry category of my budget. Cause I, I budget, I'm very good at budgeting. Um, and yeah, so far I haven't had to take out any loans, but I've still got, I've still got nearly 10 grand left to go, I think. Maybe more. I can't remember exactly. Um, actually, I think I can tell you that. Um, where's the thingy? Where's my budget? <clears throat> Cosmic energy required. <clears throat> um. Oh wow, okay, so I've hit nearly 10 grand spent so far. So I've got 13 grand to go. Holy cow. Guys, I'm nearly halfway. I'm nearly halfway. That's amazing. Um, uh, love bubble tea, hate bubbles, yet cannot stop buying from Bubble Tea Club. What, so what, what, what bubbles do you hate? What, what, what part of it is the part you don't like? Because maybe I can like help you with that, help you figure out. Um, on RP servers, it's typically really fun to watch what happens in general, but man, sometimes I'm like, why? Yeah, fair. Okay, I, I imagine RP servers would probably be better than, um, most other servers when it comes to that kind of crap. Oh, I'm in combat, so won't let me. <clears throat> you hear they also mean a lot of people ship overseas to a few countries now? They do. US, Canada, and New Zealand. They are working on... Uh, I got another investor email the other day. And they're actively... They've gotten a grant from the Victorian government um, to invest in stuff to get them into the UK. So they're like, they're not just kind of, yeah, look, we're trying... They're actually actively working on it, which is awesome. General chat, a promoted colonel chat, or more senior than sergeant. It's the most senior of preschool. I well, I had a minimum age. Probably does somewhere. I feel pretty proud of myself. Not only really bad at saving, just 300 away from... Whoa, paying off my part of the home. Ah, awesome! Texture and stuff in a drink. Weirds me out. Ah, oh, so if you don't want the... You can have it totally without jelly. You can just have, like, the tea and the flavouring if, if you so desire. Every kit you can kind of click no pearls and it'll make it cheaper and then you can just not add topping if you want. But I do find it fun and maybe, I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure if you're maybe trying to like train yourself to enjoy it or something, but yeah, if you're not, if you're not into the bits, you could absolutely, um, you can absolutely skip that part. Um, did you skip all that jelly? Never try bubble tea? If you have the opportunity to do so, Rusty, and you can, like, you know, it is, it is quite sweet, it is relatively high sugar, so there are some people who are unable to have it for, like, medical reasons and stuff like that. Um, but if you like sweet drinks, I would definitely recommend giving it a try, if you have the chance to. Mm-mm. <clears throat> 
biggest jelly fan. So we're getting into it. Honestly, though, the creamer is life. Yeah, it, it legit is. Um, next time we place an order, I'm absolutely going to buy some extra creamer as well to have with like my regular tea. I'm trying to work through my tea collection because there's a ton of it. And I'm not sure when I'm going to move to Melbourne, but when I do, I don't want to have to move an entire box of tea with me. Like one whole moving box full of fucking tea. So I'm trying to drink it. Mm. So yeah. And anything that's flagged is, you know, try it with a dash of milk. Add a, a spoonful of uh, creamer and it's just, it's enough sweetener. And it's enough, like, milk as well. It's just, it's perfection. I do love that they sell stuff individually now as well. It's not just, um, like, not just in the kits. You can buy each of the ingredients separately too. It's awesome. They did a good job with that. It's just a big as they go. Um, I do have their tea, so that was, that was my point. Oh, gotcha, I love their tea. Yeah, it's really good tea. Like, just, it's fantastic tea. That person who tells you can at least 250. Yeah. Yeah. I've got so many like variety packs and stuff, especially from like T2, because I love T2's teas. They're just so good. So I have all these little boxes, but then I have all these like individual sachets that I've picked up here and there as like samples and stuff. Yeah, I'm uh I'm getting them. I will get there eventually. We must be talking bubble tea, we are! We are. Water from the sands. Renewal from ruin. Mm, mm-hmm. I definitely do the thing with the channel points, it's free. I unlock a special stream next month. The Oracle. You who have watched over me. You have aided me. More is needed. We will do everything we can to help. You have my word. A vessel what of do you seek? Is required. The missing is good to see. Must be replaced. The geometry made whole. A vessel of judgment. Do you mean? The Arbiter? But how? Mm. All that is eternal was forged. Channel goal more than I've ever wanted a channel goal! I thought you might like it. I did actually, like, when I asked in sub chat for ideas, I meant it. Like, I wasn't just like, yeah, I'd throw some ideas in the air for funsies. I meant it. 
will probably end up being one of the most stressful streams I ever do, relying on Jazz to communicate with me what's on the screen. But we'll try. That's the mountain quest. Yeah, I don't care about that one. Mm, I believe in you guys. We gotta get there done. We gotta get it done first. The the goal. Curious, how do you find the story of Zerith Mortis? For me, it just for me it felt so disjointed from everything Warcraft. I just couldn't get into it. Ah, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Eth. I really enjoyed it. Um, like the, the whole thing, like Shadowlands is completely and utterly separate from Azeroth. So we are just kind of like, these aren't stories about the characters we're familiar with. They're stories about an entirely separate group of people. Um, that's been the whole expansion. We are, we have inserted ourselves into their, their issues. This has got nothing to do with us. We're just here to help them. Uh, and so that's how I've kind of like, it's not Warcraft. It's a part of Warcraft, but it's not, anything like this has got nothing to do with us it's their issue and we're just helping them with it so that's kind of yeah but i i did really enjoy finding out about like how death works in in the shadowlands and how all these afterlives are created and all i i, I did enjoy it there are a couple of moments that i just kind of went like eh. um but overall um no i've enjoyed it We're really good at inserting ourselves into other people's stuff. I look forward to you just about having an aneurysm, not literally, of course, with frustration. Look. The crypts of the eternal. See, on the one hand, is overrun by moss worn. On the one hand, it could be like annoying and frustrating and like trying to get the information out of Jazz. But on the other hand, surely the cover and I are a really, really, really good team. We work together phenomenally well. We always have. So. So it really could go either way. Truly, no, every. I doubt my compatriots in heaven would dare tread on mm. such hallowed ground. You should have well done. But fear me not. I, as always, Just like we make all the stuff. Idea. Trivial little things. Hmm. Yeah, that's fair. Um. Kabato. We have need of your assistance. But it was just all like Easter eggs, oh. like the entire connection of hmm. Azeroth to the Shadowlands. It was all just Easter eggs. It's, oh, that person died. Oh, so did that one. Oh, and this one as well. So I think that's how I've kind of separated it. That was just kind of fun little things that had happened. Ah, there you but um, Meet us near the this is us the really, truly helping the, the, the denizens of this world that we've essentially invaded. Because um, again, we're quite good at doing that. But um. Yeah, look, it's it's totally valid to not enjoy it. That's that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I personally have, um, but that's not to say that either of our opinions are wrong. A chance to restore balance to the shadow. Haven, go back to Haven. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of like. Could there be any greater act of service? If I'm not enjoying something anymore, I won't. Like, I'll stop playing it, because I'm kind of at the point in life now where it's it's just like, if it's not, if I don't enjoy it, there's no point wasting time with it. But that being said, there are a lot of people who don't even really pay attention to the story. They just kind of get through it so they can get to the mechanical stuff of raiding and, and dungeoning and etc, etc. Um, but for me, the story is a big part of it. I, I really enjoy getting new storyline chapters and, and playing through them and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, if that if that kind of fell flat, then yeah, I'm not sure how I'd go with uh, with playing it anymore. 
Can I start engaging? Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, yeah, I did. I did. I was invested. Um, I wanted to know what happened next. I had questions and I wanted answers. Um, and I got them. Not that I liked some of them, but that's okay. Let us hope your plan works. Others I really did. Death needs anima, and for that we need souls that deserve. I dropped a pain. I enjoyed the zone in a fair bit. I just completely felt like ignoring your story. That's fair. That's fair. Hello, vengeful. How are you going? Peed. Technically, I guess. <laughs> It rolled off my fork and onto the floor, and now I feel bad. I really don't like wasting food. Not you has a point, but if you ask me, well, I think every soul deserves redemption. Do you need a bear? The might of Ardenweald is yours, Maul Walker. Still fib I know, I know. But given how much my hair like bolts and sheds and stuff like that. Yeah. No judgment. I this just this is my personal choice in my personal bedroom. You heard the Walker. We march on the endless sands. Yeah, thanks for showing us a Of course, F, of course. Thank you for asking. And I'm sorry you didn't enjoy the story. I hope that the next round of, of story is something you can engage with and, and truly enjoy to the max. Destroying Elden Ring for the third time. Wonderful. Enjoy yourself. 2500 casts and still nothing. You're going to make a record, Shiva. You're going to set a record. Go you. Just think, all this fishing you're doing is exercise. Because I imagine you're still using your like your desk bike thing. So sitting there casting is time that you have to be biking. So go you. Brilliant. Fingers crossed for you. Good. You who cannot get the thing, yep. Uh, it'll drop. It'll drop. <clears throat> Gosh, this thing takes forever to kill. That's what I wanted. Mevix is right. The Arbiter must have the strength and resolve to do what must be done. Vistas. We have discovered a relic that attracts Otoma. I think this could be useful. Come meet with me. Try using the relic to direct these Otoma. If they listen, they can be used to destroy the Mosworn. Might as well do the world quest while I'm here. <clears throat> Gets me a chest that I don't have. Hmm, the chunky ones. Quick heads up, mention the name any part of it, get your time out. Person. I really prefer not to get out. Of course, of course. Yeah, Eth is I'm fairly sure Eth would be the kind of person to have read the rules, so I think we're uh 
I think we're good on that front, but thank you, Jas, for doing the the careful thing. Much appreciated. How's your day been? Great, actually. Really great. I'm exhausted, but I, uh, for the first time in... Oh god, I don't even remember how long. Um, I pretty much cleared my to-do list of stuff that, like, had a due date sort of thing. Um, which is awesome. I actually had an hour, a singular hour of free time. So I sat down and I watched some Netflix and I did some stitching, which made me really, really happy. Um, and then I accidentally got a bounce that I wasn't intending to get, but I'm happy I got it, obviously. Um, the one from the more swan caches here in, in the sand pit. Um, it was my 15th chest and I opened it and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm very pleased with that. It's almost, I, I kind of feel like the mount was a reward for like getting all my stuff done to, you know, like it, it feels really good. Something it was really good. So yeah, I've had a really good day. Oh, my quest log is full. I can abandon this one because I don't think I'm going to go and kill the jailer anytime soon. <clears throat> Morning, hello, Flib. How are you going today? It's a Peter. So no, it's usually not being brought up. Correct. So we are a spoiler-free channel, uh, and leaks. Though, like, leaks might be wrong, but they might be right. And if they are right, then that counts as a spoiler. Therefore, they're covered. Um, so, yeah, there are. We've got a. Uh, we've got auto mods set up to trigger with a few words slash phrases. Uh, and it's an automatic 10 minute timeout. So, yeah. Just, just wanted to let you know. I don't sleep fishing here for hours, crap on my lot of people watching, watching players ebb and flow around doing some cast and leaving every so often. Yeah. And and knowing that you're outlasting them all feels pretty good sometimes. Understanding, yeah, absolutely. So that's a good thing. It's the kind of people we love in our community. People who get it. <laughs> but only a few more weeks. Oh, that's a dominator's key. I'm like, excuse me, how dare? But no, it's not. It's the wrong thing. So that's good. <clears throat> um, do I have enough? I do. Battle time. Yeah, I should be able to remake so many memories, yes. That's good. What a stream you did, Nutty. Hello! Welcome back. Welcome back. You shall be shackles. Bathroom and hood. Mm. Oh. With enough atoma, we can vanquish <clears> the <throat> more swarm. Yes. Jump. Ooh. What's going on with the. There we go. Jump to that all my links link. 
And uh, follow me on the socials if you wouldn't mind. It's free and you have potentially no idea how much it actually helps. Just that, that 10 seconds it takes to go through, especially on Instagram, the 10 seconds it takes to jump through and hit that follow button is like immensely helpful. I've done in the last week, I've done, I've sent two sets of demographics to people and I've done three quotes on sponsored posts that are, and, and the rates that you can charge are based on how many followers you have. Like, I know it, I know it doesn't seem like much. Uh, Meaty, Fade, Ali, Dew, Bod, and Thor, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. It, it seems really, really silly that having more people click a button results in more money for, for a creator. I know it sounds silly. I, I trust me. And I wish it weren't the way because like, good Lord, if people realize, like even though I have a small community, if sponsors realized how bloody engaged you lot were, I'd be making a lot more than I am, let me tell you. Uh, but the numbers come first, then the engagement rate. The engagement rate is smack bang where it should be, if not much, much higher than where it should be. Um, but the follower numbers are where I have been told I am lacking. Um, not, not in a negative, like they're not telling me I'm shit. They're just telling me that they're not going to partner with me because I don't have those follow numbers. Um, so if you wouldn't mind hitting that all my links link and checking out Instagram as a first point of call and Twitter, if you feel like it, uh, there's Facebook in there, there's TikTok in there, wherever you're willing and happy to, like, obviously if you don't want to, I'm not going to force you to, and I don't want like, no, no, that's, that's not what we're about here. That's not what we're about here. Um, but if you feel comfortable throwing me a follow on all of, any or all of those platforms, I would be so ridiculously appreciative. Um, it, it actually makes a hell of a difference, I promise you. It actually makes a difference. <clears throat> Alright, so I need three more keys. God, they all have so much health, it sucks. <clears throat> um, but yes, definitely also follow that stream readers link, log in with your Twitch account, and drag and drop some of your units to that battlefield. Help us win the next one too. Thank you, F. Much appreciated. As silly as it is, it doesn't actually matter how active you are. <laughs> like, I mean, if you're if you're feeling super hella generous you can like interact with my posts and stuff, but as silly as it sounds, it's the follow numbers that are more important, which is just ridiculous. I hate that, but it is what it is. see what more what they can get so numbers are a big thing oh absolutely but the the fact that it's the follow number and not the engagement rate number is what kind of pisses me off because i i have like up to 11 percent engagement which is unheard of like that's ridiculous it's absolutely bonkers um but because i'm under 1k on instagram um it, it doesn't count for anything <laughs> Like, yeah, like, I've had up to 11% engagement on my posts. What the hell is that? Like, 1-2% to 2 is kind of industry average. My average engagement is sitting on Twitter, I think it's 3.4 at the moment, and Instagram it's somewhere around 3.7 or something, so that's still really high compared to the industry average, but 
I, I like I get it. Like engagement rate of fifty percent when you have two followers is one person, but engagement rate of one percent when you have ten thousand followers is a hundred, and a hundred is more than one. I I get it. It still sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it still sucks. So yeah, that's that's why I'm pushing on Instagram at the moment because um, it's that's where the money is. That's where so many like business. That's where the businesses are with the with the marketing budgets. Um, Twitter is okay, but sponsored tweets are less of a thing than sponsored posts are on Insta. Um, sponsored streams are great, um, but in Australia, not. A huge thing. It's starting to get there, uh, but it's still like Twitch is massively undervalued in Australia as a as a marketing tool. That's why like Australians like if you watch enough Twitch, you'll find that even when other people are experiencing ads on a channel where you should be getting ads, you just won't get me. <laughs> and it's because there's only, there's not many ads, or you'll get the same one over and over and over again. It's because not many people in Australia have paid for the ad slot because it's not, they don't think it's like worth it. They don't even, or they don't know it exists. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. I have to say my social media game is so crap. Yeah, I don't do that well enough. No, I'm, I'm learning. I've been doing it for close to a year now. I've been really trying, I mean, I was using it and stuff like that prior, but, um, it's, it's been almost a year. It'll be like halfway through this month will be like the one year mark of me really kind of trying to kick my social media game into gear. Um, and I'm definitely doing better than I was a year ago, but it's still not quite, um, I'd still like to be doing better than I am. And that's okay. That's, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, wanting growth is, uh, what drives you sometimes. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I've got a few bits and pieces that I want to like study uh, in terms of the social media thing. Uh, and then once that's done, if there are some questions that haven't like, like, I don't think it's gonna cover what I'm wanting to do, but basically I wanna get a like an actual social media, not a manager, but a like a growth strategy. Get someone who is a social media manager to go through my content, um, identify my strengths, my weaknesses, give me a, a set of 120 hashtags again that, that are going to perform best for me and my content and uh, give me like a list of, you know, these are the kinds of posts you should be making. Um, and this is when you should make them and all that kind of stuff, like that kind of analytics and an instruction manual, how to do Insta. Uh, <laughs> and and a, like a report like that costs a couple hundred bucks, usually. So like it's, um, it's definitely an investment, but it's something like a couple hundred bucks could be the, like the difference between me making thousands or or not you know with with my career my creating career so yeah it's um i think it'll be worth it as long as it's the right person you know as long as it's not a scam um but i have a few people who i can go to and ask for like recommendations or advice on what to look for and what to avoid and stuff um my Instagram, why do they care for Insta so much? Um, Instagram is really, really good because it's visual. You can see the product, you can see like the, the happiness, that kind of stuff. Uh, a thing of text, like pictures and stuff may or may not show up on, on Twitter. Uh, Twitter's uh, algorithms are a little bit funky, that kind of stuff. Uh, but Instagram, it's super visual, it's super engaging, and it's also got a whole lot of features built into the app where you can literally tap a picture and purchase the product through Insta and like never even leave the app kind of thing. Um, it's, for most brands, that's where they hang out. 
That's where they create most of their content. Like the number of brands that I've gone to search and they, all of them, every single bloody one of them has an Instagram account, but like 30 to 40% of them have a Twitter. Um, it's, that's just where, like gaming brands have both, but not specifically gaming brands tend to be on Instagram. Not Twitter. Mm -hmm. Oh, use it myself. In the game's weird base right now, yeah. Yeah, there's, um, uh, GGWP is aimed more towards content creators, um, but I'm, I reckon a fair bit of their advice might work towards anyone who's looking to grow a brand. Um, beyond that, Skillshare. Skillshare has a lot of, like, mini courses designed like aimed at people who are trying to grow a brand not necessarily a specific type of brand but just a brand in general um i i had a trial to skillshare and i watched half of one class and then didn't watch any more because i didn't have any time um so i wasted that free trial but that's okay uh, it is what it is but what i did see was was good quality stuff like it was it was pretty awesome um, and it was specific things as well. It wasn't just like, you know, your bio is really important. It's like, when you write your bio, you need to include these bits of information. Do this, like, put this here, put that there. When you're writing captions, this is how many characters you should use. This is what works best for this type of post and that type of post and all that. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's full on, very specific advice rather than just like general bullshit fluff, which you find on the internet for free. Um, but yeah, it's, uh... I need to remember my login for Insta. There is a forgot your password button. Uh, I've never had an Insta make one for the go. Oh, Spot, that's so kind of you. Thank you so much for even considering that. You'd be back on Discord. I did. I did. I need to fix up all my links again now. Um, but we did. I very much appreciate everyone who who shuffled boosts around or or purchased a Discord Nitro boost or anything like that. Um. Massive appreciation for getting us to, to level 3 on Discord. Um, so we've got our custom invite link back. I just need to update the bloody link everywhere again. Because... <laughs> oops. Uh, Twist of the heavy, regular updates, engagement, instas, but look at the shiny thing and people loving it. Yeah. Um, but like you think about so so many different industries. It's It's visual. Humans are visual creatures. If you're thinking about clothing or accessories, you're thinking about food or drink. Even even tech is a lot about how it looks. You know, you, your fancy RGB keyboard and mouse, or your nano leaf panels, or or your your gorgeous chair and, and all that kind of stuff. It's like yeah, okay, function is really important, but a lot of it's hella visual as well. And Instagram just conveys that so much better. Um, yeah, it's a it's a thing. Um, Vigo, she doesn't do collabs with influencers. Yeah, hot damn, you get some decent coin if I use your code each time. Yeah, there, there are some brands out there that just don't do that kind of thing. And usually it's because they don't need to. Like, why would they pay out a portion of their profits to someone else when they don't need to? Um, you might find that they do send PR out. Like, when they release a new product, they'll send that PR to a couple of really big name influencers. And then those people will do a sponsored post, but not actually be, not have a code or anything. Um, Ali! Oh, with the gifted sub to Earth, so kind of you. So generous, thank you so much. Don't let me stop because of ads. There you go. If this is where the arbiter um, so GGWP is the first real big place that I learned a lot about how to build my brand and stuff. Like I had a general idea, but it was really good hearing a lot of it like verbatim, like this is what you need to do. These are the questions you need to ask yourself, etc. It is aimed at content creators, not necessarily that, not necessarily companies in that way. Um, however, I'm sure that a lot of it could be applicable, especially like as you're getting started, trying to kick up the kind of go. Um, you can type exclamation GGWP into chat if you would like. I do have a referral code for there. It's not, it's free. You can make a free account. Um, however, uh, they, they give, so if you refer people, I get XP, you get XP 
for being referred and I get XP for referring you. Um, that XP goes towards a system that they have where they have a leaderboard. Uh, and I'm currently fifth. I was first for a long while and I'm now fifth on the leaderboard, which is unsettling, but I know why and it's fine. Um, but that pushes me up a leaderboard and they have a gig marketplace where companies approach GG and then they put it out to their influencers and people can apply and then the company can choose who they want to work with from that list of people who have applied. And the higher up their leaderboard you are, the more likely you are going to be to be chosen to, to work on those gigs, if that makes sense. Um, so the, I do gain a benefit. It's just not a like a direct tangible benefit. It's it's a weird sort of, yeah, it's a weird sort of roundabout benefit, but that's a thing. Um, the other thing is Skillshare. Um, Skillshare, I did have a free trial and unfortunately didn't have a chance to use it very much before it ran out because I was too busy. I think I watched one video, but that one video was incredibly informative. Instead of all the fluff that you find for free on the internet, like you can try this for your market or you can try this or make sure you use hashtags. Here are the 100 most popular hashtags in the world. That's useless. That's crap information. Um, but this kind of stuff was like, this is how many characters works best as an Instagram caption. Literally that kind of direct information. So, um, yeah, Skillshare was great. I just didn't get to use very much of that, unfortunately. Mm. Um, hello! Hello, Machine. How are you going today? Welcome on in. Good luck on the mounts. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Little part of skill shaking of you, of course, this question I ask myself. Spine. Spend time learning a skill I don't particularly enjoy or do the stuff that's core to what I do and that I also enjoy. The thing is, how, mu how much longer can you continue to do the stuff you enjoy if you're not getting the recognition and the payment that you need because you're not doing the stuff you don't enjoy? If I could just stream and that was it and not do any of the social crap, I would. But I wouldn't grow and I wouldn't make any money. I make some, not much. Um, yeah, it's sometimes doing passion projects requires skills that you don't know or, or time spent doing things you don't particularly enjoy, unfortunately. Um, the other option, of course, is that you can pay somebody else to do that. You can pay them for their skills in doing the thing that you don't know how to do or don't enjoy doing. But that's an investment that only you will know whether or not you can afford it. Or whether or not it'll be worth it. No, uh, no, no. They made a comment, I was like, I can fix that. You're being engaged in extreme better. It does, you're right. You're right. Is that me? Do better with simple advice. I had hashtags. Do you put in suppose? The add-on list. Time. We get some cool new add-ons. Awesome, Spart. I'm so glad to hear it. Did you install all the things? Really not with it today. Unlock command center. Can't click on it. Reload. About to reload. Might help if I accepted the quest. Oh no. Oh no. I. Oh no. I know the feeling, Nutty. You're okay. It's all good. It's totally fine. It happens. Um, let, oh, sorry. I meant the actual add-on called all the things. Sorry, my mistake. This moment, the banished one's gambit made manifest. A world soul twisted by death. A maw with which to crush the Arbiter. And now it shall take this vessel. Argus will be eternal. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so all the things is both a blessing Argus and a curse. Draws energy from that soul conduit. Mawa, you must destroy it. Okay. Honestly, by the point, anything about this, any idea how much hiring some help with social media would cost to be effective anyway? Uh, genuinely haven't looked into it because I don't, I have zero dollars that I can use for it. So I know for me, it's not 
uh, it's not able to be done yet. Um, it is something I'm planning on looking into uh, hopefully within the next month or so. So like maybe watch this space. Uh, but as of now, I, I unfortunately don't know. Um, budget, however limited, might be worth maybe. Anyhow, I appreciate the conversation. Of course, Eth, of course. Um, no, I love sp I love talking about this kind of stuff. This is this is what I do, you know. This is my business, and it's my passion, and it's my love, and I want to be able to do this full time. I currently can't, um, but in order to be able to do it full time, I need to grow my presence. Um, so it's yeah, it's one of those kind of yeah. I'm just gonna be like, "Oops, my presence is shit," because I'm not using the extra skill button. Yep. But yeah, I'm I'm not too sure. Um, look, I know I know it's not about content creation. I know it's about like a video game. Like, so that's I think it's a video game. I know you're developing a game, and now that I say that, I don't know if it's a tabletop game or or a video game or <laughs> what. Oops. Um, but I know that that's what you're doing. But maybe start with the GGWP stuff. Even though a lot of it is geared towards content creators, there might... I reckon that they'll still... Because that's where I learned all about the social stuff. I had zero idea. And then I started learning through there. And then they... that Those videos led me down the path. And it's free. Those videos led me down the path of... Where to do further research to figure out what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> so... Maybe that's a good place to start. Exclamation GGWP. We'll get you the link. My, my referral link specifically. I need to remember to disclose that every time. <laughs> um, uh, big collector of fashion. Warcraft is infectious from fashion souls. Brilliant. Yeah, all the things will um will make you feel things you haven't felt before. 7900 left till we hit the goal. Anyone in chat donate up to the maximum 2,000 free channel points? Yes. Absolutely. If you click the little purple campfire underneath the chat box, there will be a banner at the top that says TikTok a tale for two. If you click that, you're able to donate up to 2,000 embers per stream towards, excuse me, towards the goal. We've got to hit 25% today to keep it on track. Um, and it's for a bonus stream in, or it's for a, for an, a fun stream in, in May. Uh, a TikTok is a game, there you go, 25% complete. Well done, well done. Um, it's a puzzle game that's designed to be played by two people uh, and you only get part of the picture each. So you have to work together to figure out the puzzle solutions. Um, yes, if we don't make it, if we don't get to 100% by the end of the week, then you get your embers back. So maybe the social networking feel really be able to tell heads or tails of something could even work for me. You gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. I think um, starting off with the GGWP and uh, like they've got a, like you know questions to ask yourself and all this kind of stuff and sort of set you on the path of what's possible, and then. I'd also, I'm sure you have like a list of games that you enjoy. Have a look at their social media presence. See what they tweet. See what they post on Insta. See like what, wherever they have a presence, have a look and see what they're posting and see if that applies. Like if it's, if it's a puzzle game and every so often they're posting a, a brain teaser or something, then that, you know, maybe that won't work for you potentially. Um, but if they're posting like development screenshots, like, you know, sneaky peeks of, of character design or, or whatever that happens to be, then maybe those are things that you can share as well. Just like little things here and there over time, get people excited about what they're going to see. That's, um, yeah. Legends indeed, tell me I feel things that ever felt. What a sales pitch. Yay. Yay. Ah, oh, this fight sucks. Tonight's
that's good. This has been fun. Lots of little vicey bits and pieces and yeah. bamboo underpants. That's why they're so soft and comfy. Hmm. Indeed. Step one was one of my most recent big uh, contracts that I signed. Um, they sent me seven pairs of underpants and uh, in return I provided some social media support and all that kind of stuff, and obviously stream stuff. And uh, I've got one more post, one more post to make, and that'll be my contract fulfilled. Um, that'll be up on Instagram and Twitter, probably in the next week or so. Actually, probably less than a week now that I what the date is. Um, yeah, uh, that that's not an affiliate link or an affiliate code. Um, like, I don't make any money if you make a purchase or anything like that. However, Silence. if you interact with the posts, comment, retweet, like, share, etc., etc., that engagement rate, I have to provide a report to them after I'm done. Showing them all the engagement on all the posts I've made and stuff, so... That'll be what tells them whether or not I get a future deal with them. The melody fades, a refrain. The cycle awaits a yeah, honestly, most comfortable underwear I've ever worn. What is she talking about? We don't need riddles, we need answers. What's our next plan, Warwalker? There must be another answer. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, so much excitement. Thank you. Love it when they flow. Yay! I really talk in chats. Sometimes, look. Sometimes a lurk is like the best go, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that at all. We love our lurkers. If it weren't for my lurkers, I would never have made partner. Um, but having that interaction in the chat as well is it's really lovely so i'm i'm glad you joined us today spot i'm glad you're feeling better uh engagement on very chunks are coming their way <laughs> oh dear <clears throat> Picks are a no go, indeed. I mean, if you want to post them on your own Insta, then I mean, go right ahead. Yes, Claire. <laughs> I am who I have always been, and yet so much more. Hmm. Mm. Discord's a good place to be too. Chat roulette door does nothing. My favorite ones are the ones where it comes up and they're both kind of going like this and then at the same time they both raise plates that they're drying or whatever. It's great. So good. So good.
Never done chat roulette myself, but I've heard many a many a horror story. You join? Well done. Fantastic. Welcome on in. Oh dear. Might have a cult or something now. No. Um, just ignore the fact that we call like so we call the followers the the Fiamali, right? Um, and we call the subs the Fianati. But don't let that mislead you. We're definitely not a cult. Definitely not a cult. I I don't know which one you're trying to get to to see. Oh, I've locked up. What the hell is going on tonight? I think I need to do a restart. That after stream. A little worried there. <laughs> yep. Yep. What news do you bring? It's all right. We gotta like. Everyone needs to rock up to packs in their in their. In their Fiamma merch, and uh, we'll be fine. Oh, no, I don't think so. Excuse me. I don't think so. What is on your mind? Archon's wisdom <laughs> Apathy. Oh my god. That's hilarious. Oh my god, I have a legendary. Can't beat him, join him. Correct. No one shall defeat me. They have tried many a time. And each time I'm like, nah, I'm gonna keep streaming. Zem, V, Ali, Ali. Wait. Uh, crap. The Alisiov and Alateria? Alit Alateria, I think. Thor, Dunno, Choco, Fade, and Bod. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus. Shit. That awkward moment when you have two people with similar names. Uh, if people came to PAX in that merch, you would know them as someone from the channels. So we'd be like, guess the name. We could, and I'd get it very wrong repeatedly, especially if they're a lurker. Oh my god, can you imagine someone who has never actually spoken in chat, rocking up with a burb and just being like, <laughs> <laughs> oh dearie me, dearie me. I'm <clears throat> oh, they did It's not dead, which can eternal life. Strange eons, even death may die. <laughs> oh dear. Fight for Azeroth. I shall deliver the crown of wills to the arbiter. Then we will bear witness to the fate of Sylvanas Windrunner. Mmm, be funny thing to stream. I gave you a small hint. Yep. Absolutely. I like I'm just saying. Wrong with lurkers? No, no, no. Nothing wrong with lurkers at all. I love my lurkers. I'm very appreciative of my lurkers. I just think it'd be really funny if they're like, who do you think I am? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I am kind of halfway expecting people to be like, hi, Fear, and I'll be like, hi. No, their words will be hard. <laughs> I expect no less. Hmm. I think I said a couple, like, was it yesterday or maybe a couple of streams ago, like, I would love to meet you. you Absolutely love to meet you guys. Please introduce yourselves. 
Don't make it awkward for me, please. Packs everyone was good. Yeah, but um, might I point out that that was four years ago? We trusted you. I had been streaming for two you years. I was still in casual mode. I was averaging like 18 concurrent viewers. As of today, my concurrent viewers on average for the last 30 days is 83. It's more than four times as many viewers as I had at PAX 18. Is it this is a slightly bigger deal. <laughs> just a bit. Anger and pain. You don't know me straight away when I say hi, right? Like, how, who, who the fuck do I think I am? <laughs> I've just changed his look a little bit. Just a search. But no, it's, um... Like, we, we made a booking in, I think it was 2018. Um, or maybe 2019. 2018? I don't remember. But we had, like, a dinner booking for, like, 16 people. And half of those people, well, not quite half, but quite a good chunk of those people were literally my blood relatives, my family. <laughs> I, it's it's going to be a bit different this time. The Maw has ended. Let us begin. Um, and yeah, for, for those of you both punishment who are planning on being in Melbourne I trust in during PAX, uh, we are going to have some kind of meetup. We're not, I'm not going to book something. I'm, it's not going to be like at a bar or at a restaurant or something like that because I just know CBF trying to manage that goddamn booking. Um, so basically, we're just going to do like, uh, you know, grab lunch from wherever you feel it like it and meet on the green at time so it'll be outside as well which means you won't need a ticket to PAX to be able to attend so even if you've got like only got a Friday ticket and we meet up on Saturday or even if you just live in Melbourne but you're not actually attending PAX you could still come in and, and hang out with us for for that little period of time if you went if you wanted to so yeah it's um going to be as inclusive as possible uh, and as low stress as possible for me <laughs> Okay, so Zareth Mortis complete. Perhaps that is why Mother Moon stayed my hand. Um inflicted a grievous wound upon my people. You may never earn my trust, but you have my thanks for setting things right. So let's go do dailies and world quests and hope that I get more anima because I absolutely do not have enough for the Shit, wrong side. Uh, don't have enough for the mount just yet. Um. Um. Partner and growth, exactly. Uh, I guess we all need to show up with name tags. Yeah, maybe I'll bring some like rectangular stickers and a sharpie, and people can write things on them and like slap it on. And then I won't be like, you don't need a name tag for me. Or maybe I will, just like, because then everyone can be like, did you really think we wouldn't know who you were? And I'd be like, maybe. Just to kind of blend in with everyone else with name tags. Um, yeah, but I mean, I also met up with people, like, every pack. So I wasn't sure if the particular dinner I was thinking about was 2018's one or 2019's one. Because yeah, work, just Twitch track and reward chat engagement. Uh, no, I don't think so. Not in the way I think you might be. Like, I don't get paid for chat engagement, um, and it's not like a. It's concurrent viewers that are kind of the thing. However, having an engaged chat will mean that I'm constantly talking because I constantly have things to respond to, which will mean that when people do come in for the first time and see me being active and hearing me talking and stuff, um, there's a better chance of them sticking around because they're like, oh, so this is this is not just a, 
a nothing stream where no one does anything. This is a this is an actually engaged kind of place. So that it helps in that way, um, but it's not. Uh, and I can I can see like um, chat lines per stream and and average chats per hour and all this kind of stuff. Like I, I can get those statistics, but they're not. Um, it's not something that's like rewarded. It's not something I can get paid based on. If that's what you're. Um, no, 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 doppelganger is to do yourself. Maybe. That's less fun, though. Alright, let's go hit up Andros, because that's 500 Anima. I don't remember the thing that I need. Oh no, now it's there again. Um Shallines for hour with the idea of just in a Fiamma name tag and fear in a not Fiamma name tag. Noted. Scouts speak of a harrowing presence threatening the Northern Isles. We cannot allow this menace to remain. <laughs> Our scouts speak of a harrowing oh, hello. presence. Threatening the Northern Isle. We cannot allow this menace to remain. It's lagging, so I'm, there we go. I'm still in flappy form. I'm uh, getting like with the bumpier stream or something if you have a more active audience. No. Uh, uh, can you not get put on the front page or something on Twitch? Uh, I am in front page backfill. So basically, um, to get put on front page for Twitch ANZ, I don't know how it works in other regions, but for Twitch ANZ, because that's what I'm a part of, um, there's there's like a form we can fill out to request front page spotlight for special events and things. So you can't just get it for whenever, um, but you you can request it for like a special event or whatever. There are restrictions on what you can and not request it for. Um, it can't be a charity stream, it can't be a subathon, and there are a couple of other little restriction -y bits that you have to abide by. Um, and then they have backfill. So if... Range five. So if there's not an event going on, or just the, the other positions on the, on the carousel, um, that's filled thing? by people who they, they have a list and it just kind of randomly pulls people off that list to stick on the carousel for you individually. Um, yeah. yeah. It's not something that's like... Yeah. There are thousands of partnered ANZ streamers. Thousands. And there are only so many spots for that kind of stuff. Um, Twitch also does events uh, themselves. Like at the moment they're doing food and drink month. So they've got, they're featuring a whole bunch of people um, who specifically do food and beverage style streams. Um, but yeah, it's, there are definitely opportunities, but um, not just like a quick and easy, oh god. Taunt boss. Yeah. I'm a name tag for Jas. yep. Yeah, it's an interesting point. I haven't always let you know. Range of range. Since that girl. Yep. Taunt boss. Yep. Watch your step. Taunt boss.
Range five. Watch your step. I got an alpaca soul. We cannot allow these sacred lands to be scavenged and left in ruins. Hey, superior. Good lord. Hmm, okie dokie. Don't see any other. That's almost 4 a.m. Oh no. Oh no. It's alright. Next time, Shiva. You'll be fine. This is now the problem because I don't think I have enough. Down, and I don't really know where to go next. Swing through here, see if any treasure treasures or rares pop up, and then I'll head well, like I'll swing around and I'll be back at Haven. And we can stick it in and see what we've got. The Raptura are troublesome creatures that steal anything they can. Please help us recover some items. Aw, Spot, thank you. That's really kind of you to say. Hey, look, I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep going. Do the best I can do. Like to see after Shadowlands, it is super cute, hey. They are quite adorable. The matter if you have the lure, yes. Sorry, done the callings in Shadowlands, I assume. Uh, no, because they're they were useless ones that I didn't need. But yeah, I might have to at this point, unfortunately. Had it for just a second there. Oh, the lost over it. Yeah, nah, fuck it. Skip up and including the old ones. I'm not sure that my get my my alts get the old ones because they haven't upgraded their anima stuff. Um, and I know that you know how when when you upgrade your covenant, that was when it upgraded how much you got from stuff. 
and I haven't done that on any of my alts, so I don't think they actually get 500 from them. I think they still only get the 250, which is still not bad, don't get me wrong. Um, but I don't think it's... Uh, oh no, it is still two. Okay, cool. Yeah, maybe I need to go do that then. Is anyone doing them? Fingers crossed. But I do also have the, um, the patterns that I'm like halfway through with, so I feel like I should probably do that because that's going to get me something juicy, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, it renown, so I get 500. Oh, it's a renown based thing. Okay, all right. I thought it was, you know how um, when you got everything to level one and then everything to level two and then everything to level three? I thought that's what did it. Or is that it used to, but if you get to 80, it just forces you there regardless of whether or not you've done it or not. I, I know it did because of the achievement popped and everything. I'm, I'm aware. Um, but I, I could have sworn that the increased anima rewards was a thing from the... Uh, Yeah, Unro unlock rank three, increased anima rewards. I'm pretty like that's what I thought it still was, but I guess they just wipe through that um, if you hit eighty, which I, I wasn't aware of. Ugh. <clears throat> oh. Seven increases the anima. One or two such helps other anima drops. Ah, uh, world bosses are renowned. Cool. Interesting. Good to know. <clears throat> Learned a new thing today. Ah, uh, so we can yeah, CBF dungeoning, but that's alright. There goes the farming. Yeah, not too bad. I think I'm sitting on around 4,000 anima currently. Um, like, that's not how much I got in the bank, but I've got a few bits and pieces in my bags. Ooh, actually, I might be a lot closer than I think, because there's 500 there. And then there's 980 there. So if that 980 stack, I can get it to 1500. I'll be awful close. <clears throat> the other ones with numbers on them, they're cool theme relics, so they don't count, obviously. Uh, no, 651. I had one, the one from the more sworn chests in the sand pit drop. Which was very surprising. I, I was quite shocked. Um, <laughs> but it dropped, so I'm very happy about that. There we go, 11.20. This is one, two, three, yeah, okay, awesome. Good to know. Good to know. Ah, uh, really happy yesterday. Ah, oh, congratulations, Spot. Well done. Well done. That's rough. Yeah, I could always stop it or backspace it, but I'm running with it. Yeah, that's right. I, I feel it. I get it. As long as I can read it, we're fine. 
Uh, wife loves bubble tea. I've never had it though. Sounds like a club. She's like, yeah, Stroopy. Um, so Bubble Tea Club is uh, an Australian company and they do bubble tea kits, DIY at home bubble tea kits. Um, they ship to Australia, New Zealand, the United States and Canada. Um, and they're really great. I am an affiliate. Uh, if you use my link or you use my discount code, then I get commission. Uh, that helps me currently. It's helping me pay for my dentistry that I need. Um, I've had a, a few issues over the last couple of years, so I'm uh, getting stuff fixed and it's costing a lot of money. Uh, total bill is 23 grand. <laughs> so, so I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, so yeah, all my online earnings and stuff are being funneled into that. So yeah, if, uh, if you think it might be a nice thing to try, by all means. And I'm coming, so no, no need to apologize. No need at all. Ah, uh, bubble tea, there you go. Melissa, come, I went and brought the DLC for House Slipper. Well done. Look, I would love to, but I, it just makes me want to puke. Like, it makes me so nauseous. I can't, I can't play it. You're very welcome, Droopy. You're very welcome. So if you're on Instagram, look, if you wouldn't mind, I would love a follow on Insta as well. Um, trying to grow that reach there so that I can get me some more brand deals and uh, hopefully one day go full time with my content creation. That'd be amazing. Surprised I got them out from the chest. 101 on my main hunter, made a new hunter second chest and looted it. Yeah, that was my first more sworn chest on the druid. My first one. First one. Fifteenth in total. Two new Insta followers. Amazing. It's also helping that I'm now actually posting. <clears throat> 930. That's a nice number. We'll get there. We'll get there. 70 to go. Shitload is helping you posting a shitload. So it's getting back on the wagon to, uh, twice a day. That's not that much. One reel and one post. And of course the go live stories and stuff. I need to kind of get in the habit of doing stories on my days off as well, I think. Because the more I use the platform, the more likely the algorithm is going to be to recommend me, is the is the thing here. This is funny. Jazz. 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 J yeah, I, I when I saw that clip, I was like... <laughs> so I thought I'd share it with you guys. Take a stroll down memory lane. Oh, that was the uh, collectible that I needed from Vexus, so that's nice. What am I supposed to be doing? Leaving more at slain. Ah, okay. Hey, Yuri, welcome back. How you doing? That's great. Good. I'm pleased. I'm glad you're enjoying it as well, because that's the big thing, right? But I actually enjoy the content. I don't think I've actually done this on fear. This is new and it's fun and I am enjoying myself. 
Run a lap around ZM, killing more rats. I'll take it. get a chance to do dailies and, and world quests and stuff in ZM because I just don't have time. I'm too busy doing other stuff. So this is this is kind of nice. them why let's restart them see what happens come on what are you doing no okay um that's really odd oh let's try that there you go. The default in Windows had changed, which doesn't affect OBS, but it affects things. Thank you so much for raising that with me, and I'm so sorry. We've gone nearly five hours with no captions. That makes me feel like shit. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, that's a bit crap. But I have, I have fixed it now. Um... Okay, they've been lurking good. Daily, just can't see them either. Tried to turn them on earlier when I was on the phone. Every time I hear ZM, screw Zangamash. Fair, fair. Just really the stream still isn't showing. Um, so on the website that I've got, I can see the captions being generated. Um, so you may need to click the like if you hover over stream and click the thing. You might have accidentally turned it off in your efforts to see, like to click it a few times to see if it was working, sort of thing. Um, so that would be my recommendation is to just check that it's on on your end because it is now actually working on my end. <clears throat> yeah, I'm calling it early. We're going to get a win. Audio changed also. Huh? Louder. Oh. That's odd. Very weird. If I might no, you should be on, like, looking at OBS, it's Yeti X WoW Edition. Like, it's not, it doesn't use default for the microphone, it always uses this one. Uh, just me and turn down. Oh, that's really weird. Fucking Windows, man. I know it's working. <laughs> I can see that on my end. where I said you guys have to check your own settings because I know for a fact that it's working. Look at that. Mm. That's really odd. That's really odd. Fucking tech, man. <laughs> so close to understand. Fucking tech. Na 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 Do 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 Come on. 
come on. There we go. Demon, Seeker, Lozard, uh, Zombie, Alley, Alley, Thag, and Dunno. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Uh, onward to the next battle. I'm zooming towards a rare, hoping I get there before it despawn before it gets killed. Ah, uh, so the confusion really just stream before we reset the season. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, nah. They're they're definitely working now. Um Oh, cool. People haven't even touched it yet. Um, that is all the computers who'd use them. It's my life since high school going through Windows 98 to 11. Fucking Windows. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. But he's got a few bits of pieces I could collect. Interesting. I get your first OS. Pretty sure mine was DOS. Maybe? I do distinctly remember running a bunch of games from DOS when I was quite young. So now this is the lucky tune. Noted. All right. Uh, but yes, how's stream been? Any more mounts today? Actually, yes. We're at six fifty-one now. Um, I got the one from the more sworn caches in the sand pit. Uh... I went and I got a dominance key to drop and I was like, excuse me, I've been trying to get this on Fia since day one. What the actual hell? And I went and opened that and there was a more sworn cache next to it. And I thought, yeah, let's, let's get that one too. Hey, presto mount. The first more sworn cache I'd opened on this druid and the 15th I'd opened in total. Which is ridiculous because it's quite, it's, it's rare. So 15 attempts is a hell of a, like that's, that's pretty awesome. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty good with that. Mount Makeup was watching. He appreciates the flying. Good, good. Uh, Mount Makeup was the purple fly uh, riding nether ray. Yes, the nether ray that is the purple. Okie dokie. So I should hit five k. Yep, five thousand and eighty four. We're going over back to the heart of the forest, and we're going to purchase a mount and tick it off the list. Yay, indeed. Very happy with that. Might not have been what I was aiming for, but hey, got it anyway. Cannot complain. Must be the earrings. Okay, now, um... Greetings. Run free. The next question is where even is the, uh... Watermaster. There we go. <clears throat> Return to me soon. All right, done. So that's something I never have to do again. Um, good. Well, I mean, hmm. Uh, these are all still Grove Wardens, so I can't get an oozing Necro Egg today. 
What I can do, you guys are going to hate me for this, is unlock Corthia on my monk. For the wild world cracker. Hmm. Looks so familiar. He was ringing you any luck, Yuri? So you can ask you if you're getting lucky, Yuri. <laughs> so it was a nut. Oh dear. I love when you post a rose up, people show up and rush it in. Immediately pulls it. Yeah, people panic. Oh, not from Mount Sigurd with my orange hair. I'm thinking of my current writing idea. Yay! Different kind of luck. Inspiration. <clears throat> okay, so. Mm -hmm. Stream kind of luck. Mm -hmm. That's always exciting. Yay. Yay. That's going to be awesome. I'm really proud of you, yo. You're smashing it. Go you. Oh, I have a bit of steak stuck in my teeth. Give me a second. I need to grab a little cheese picky thing. Oh. Hurt. <clears throat> You're very welcome, Yuri. Very welcome. Oh, I have a couple of stretches. I didn't see that. Oops. My neck has been kind of screwed lately. <clears throat> hey Seeker, how many more to go? Does anyone have 66 embers? Why? What are we sitting on? <laughs> nice. Nice. Must look for a little. Not a worry, Yuri. Haha. <laughs> See what it is. Yep. Good. Enjoy. Have fun. That's something amazing. Uh huh. So many things you could do.
Okay. Interesting. I'm making the Insta video. She realized I would, but DK fits when I'm playing Frost this evening. Brilliant. Hope you're enjoying yourself. I will aid you in the Arbiter's chamber. Our next course of action must be decided. We all have a duty to fulfill. Come forth and be in the Arb. I do believe in frosty jazz. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's hilarious. And Oregos could come under assault. Darian, the Ebon Blade must protect the city. We will see it done. Actually, hang on, is this... Yes, it is. Never mind. Couldn't remember which one was which. Well done. Well done. That's time I heard Dunno stream readers let go off during a team meeting. That's fantastic. That's wonderful. Big sword go bonk. Well done. You know what's okay, the 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 funniest part about the reel slash TikTok that I posted today. The the jazz, 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 jazz. Yeah, that one. When I was doing the captions, every single time I said jazz, it said jazz with two, two Zs. So I had to change every single one of them to Ss so that the captions were correct. <laughs> Anyone else who heard or just thought it was a random phone alert or something? Yeah, but you know what it is. You know that sound. One more to go. <clears throat> Queen will be protecting the heart of the forest. It's up to us to stop the invaders. The ruse will only distract them for so long. We must end this battle swiftly. All forces forward! Find the Winter Queen so I can claim that sigil. Wild hunt! <clears throat> Just ends. Already fill the sky. Mm. I was muted forevermore. I mean, if it was anyone else in the team, that would have been hilarious. That's that, like, moment of recognition. <clears throat> How do you do? Please don't know my game or streams all I know I'm sitting next to a member of the family. How trippy would that be? Like finding out that one of your colleagues plays games, watches Twitch, 
plays WoW watches Fear. Like, that's just ridiculous. That's, that's ridiculous. I just to stream all the time at work. Aww. That's kind of sweet. It's still kind of, like... It still blows my mind that, like, me playing video games is, like, a, a decent ch part of a handful of people's lives. Like, you know, it's just, it, it's kind of... Oh, you know, it, it's just sort of, yeah. Not weird, per se, but trippy. Excuse me, a couple burps there. Not have thought four six hour streams a week talking to people online would have been part of my life at this point. Also, didn't think COVID would happen either. Yeah, look, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Oh dear. It's a pretty, uh, pretty cool. I mean, obviously, the pandemic's not cool, but like the fact that I stream and it's this whole thing. Look, yeah, stupid COVID indeed. Agreed. But at the same time, if it weren't for COVID, I might not have made partner. There might not have been that influx of viewers on Twitch that resulted in getting enough viewers to cross that threshold. Like, I mean, maybe one day eventually, but Without COVID happening, my life certainly wouldn't have taken the path that it's taken. And I'm glad I'm where I, I'm glad I am where I am. I'm not glad that COVID happened, but that you know, my brain seems to force me to look on the the positive side of things. And the positive side of it is that I am where I am, and I'm thankful for it. And it's so therapeutic. I can play BC ref content work here. Random achieves and rep. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, the other day, uh, I was doing quests on my Alliance tunes that were Alliance only quests to cross them off on Data for Azeroth. To try to, you know get that completion score. I know quests don't, like, they get, like, one point per or whatever, which is ridiculous, but, um, yeah, I've been fine, like, it's kind of tricky, like, what do you want to focus on? Like, how, how do I, in, if, if I have time to game for fun, what do I focus on to try to improve my, my thing? Because, I mean, mounts count for a hundred each, but, I feel like you guys would kill me if I actively tried to get mounts to drop on off nights. Um, <laughs> and then, like, fully leveled pets, maybe I should do some pet leveling. But then my server ranking is lowest for appearances. I'm like 88th or something. 66th. For appearances. So maybe I should work on that. You know, it's it's kind of mm, it's tricky. It's tricky. It was, uh, it was mucking around the new Reddit app. 
I had my pen read a public access network. Some rando was featured doing metal detecting in the UK. We finished up on there. He said he was going to stream on Twitch. It was really interesting, so I followed him to Twitch and signed up. There you go. Is that mount farming I smell? How's it going? Really well. I've gotten two mounts so far today, Mihoru. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Welcome on in. How are you today? Uh, just weird. I wouldn't be playing WoW again without COVID as I hadn't played since having kids. Through the launch, I learned that streaming was a thing. Yes, it makes me so much older than I am. No, 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 no. Not at all. I uh, wish led me here. There you go. There you go. At some point, he stopped streaming. The whole world of Twitch was open to me. I think I searched Brisbane or WoW or something. And yeah, here I am. There you go. Trippy. Start a morning. Hi from Canada. Oh, fantastic. Well, hello from Australia. It's currently 9.27 p.m. Uh, where I reside. So a little bit later than it is for you. Uh, just restarted to play. Wow. Oh, fantastic. Well, I hope you're enjoying yourself in Azeroth. Or in the Shadowlands, as it may be. Not really Azeroth, is it? I keep forgetting I can't fly in this particular chain. And after a few weeks I told Dono, mostly in between dead and alive places, but yeah, at Azeroth, of course. Of course. Doing my story shall I see my flying? Oh fantastic! Well best of luck. I hope it goes smoothly for you. Yeah, flying definitely makes things quite a bit easier. Do what I did, learn the spell, you rather. Just when you can rather than letting it sit in your bags for four more hours. Huh? What spell? That uh, really is interesting. We have people landed here. Anyone else comfortable to share? Yeah, fair enough. If anyone wants to talk about how they managed to find this particular stream, you're more than welcome to. It I actually I, I do find it really interesting in terms of like data, like how are people finding me? Um, you know, is it through the launcher, or is it by just randomly searching, or is it a referral from another streamer, or or what? Or if you found me on socials first, and then followed that to here. I, I doubt that, but I mean, look, hey, it might happen. I'm pretty sure I've had at least one follower find me from TikTok, which is really strange. Look at this fucking- oh my god, Barry! Hi! How are you, gorgeous? Welcome back. The gather for a final assault. How do you get to learn flying in Shadowlands? Oh, was it an item? I thought it just happened. I forgot. I thought it just happened. Ah, uh, sweet so self promoted in a boys school. So I forgot to set her. <laughs> oh dear. <sighs> I'm really looking forward to uh, to tomorrow's chats, Barry, because um, I was mistaken. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see like how much regrowth I have on my gel nails. Do you see that like half a centimeter of clean nail? But yeah, that's embarrassing. It's been like a month since I've done my nails. Can we just talk about how awesome it is that they have stayed put for a month, firstly? But, um, yeah, it's it's getting a bit gross. Um, so, um, I'm looking forward to doing them while we chat. Came with a raid from Perth! Oh, there you go! Ended up on Twitch for the mods. Uh, started watching Q and, and Holy Chicken. Mentioned you doing the Logitech thing. Sometimes raid apples. So yeah, exactly. Awesome! Oh, that's so cool! So much. I know, right? It's like... Terrible, hey. Terrible. For now. Huh? Look at Painted them with clear acrylic. Oh lord. <laughs> nah. Nah. Gotta take them off. I got it because they're gel, like they're home gel with like a UV light or whatever, like LED light. 
have to kind of like rough up the coat, the top of it, and then like soak them off rather than just being able to wipe them off with acetone. Uh, so it'll take a little while, but um, I'm looking forward to getting them clean and then redoing them. Put something new on. 11 out of 10 out of 11. Uh, just if you tell you helped beat Satan in Legend Arceus. No way, really? That's awesome. That's awesome. I must have missed that. That's fantastic. turn that back on because it's starting to get warm again. Technically I have to beat God still but like you gotta work for that and like eh, yeah. Yeah that's fair. That's fair. I feel that. What gel do you use? Best is keen to find a good product. I haven't decided where to start. Um, so I've only got three bottles of gel polish plus the light and I got them as a kit from Priceline. Uh, it's the OPI, not OPI, um, Opalac the Opalac kit that you can get from Priceline. So it comes with the light and a bunch of soaking stuff and, and all that kind of thing. Um, and it comes with the base, the top, uh, and a red, a hot pink, and like a nude pink. Um, so just like basic stuff. I, I'm yet to find... I believe that there are some really good gel polishes on Yes Style. I, I've heard that there are some really good gel polishes on there. I'm also tempted to find like a set of at-home gel polishes on like Amazon just to give them a try, but it's, I have a lot of nail polish and so I can't really justify spending the money. So maybe I should put it on throne. <laughs> uh, yeah, look, it's, um, but yeah, so I, I've heard that there are a couple of really good brands on YesStyle, but I don't know what they are because I haven't done enough research myself. Uh, Style. Um, but yeah, the, these ones are just Opalac, like basic bitch stuff. Not doesn't mean they're bad, of course. Clearly, um, there there is a little wearing on the on the tip and around the edges, but I mean that's pretty normal. Uh, and but yeah, like the fact that it's stuck on that well, and I've got literally half a centimeter of regrowth of nail at the top. That's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Um, beauty. Hand care? Maybe under hand care. What can I do for you? Rest, my dear. Fall gently into dreamless slumber. Report to the queen. I pray she was able to safeguard the wild seeds. Oh, okay, maybe not hand care. Maybe it's not a makeup. Whoa. Why would I put that on if I'm losing all that stuff just for 18 crit? No. I have SNS and even it chips like mad with my hand smashing into things. Is that the dip powder stuff? I've heard like wildly differing stuff around it. Like so a lot of people are like, oh my God, dip powder is life. It's amazing. It's incredible. And then other people are just like, it's utter trash. I feel like it depends so heavily on your body chemistry. And also like, you've got to be like bang on exactly precise with how you apply it, or it's just going to get too thick and it'll crack and, and not like the, the coat, the, the liquid stuff where it's soaking properly or it's too thin. And so it, it gets all flaky and falls off. And so like, it's just, it's, um, yeah, it seems like it's really, really finicky. Did you do the entire story of Shadowlands? Is it a new character or I don't know. Um, I, this is not my main, this is an alt. So, um, I'm working on trying to unlock, I'm unlocking Corthia at the moment so that I can go and I know I can skip straight to Corthia. I don't want to, because there's a lot of stuff you can get, um, from the, the storyline, uh, to unlock it. Uh, but I'm I'm going through to unlock it now on my third alt. Uh, yes, just got an ad. 
The NFC style business card looks pretty cool. We're going to do the URL. Yeah, go for it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, more options is better, right? I can I can shop around and find something that's going to suit my needs, which is awesome. Depends on who puts it on, how you use your hands. Ah, uh, good and awful experiences. Gotcha. See, I'd probably do home stuff. Like, I'd, I'd probably do dip powder at home myself rather than anything else. Um, but it's a lot of outlay to get, like, the kit and everything. <laughs> and a bear, new kind of idol form. It's a troll fire. Amazing. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's a nail category under makeup. Um, is this working or is it not? Okay, there we go. I'm going to be back shortly while this battle plays out. I'm back. We're winning. Have a break from Sonic 2 ad. It's all I get right now in Twitch. Oh, nutty. See, new chair makes me want a purple chair. It's very nice, isn't it? Very nice. Uh, I don't know if that's new. Is a different stance thing? Or is it set of idol? I know Orc have those, but I don't know what else. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about. Sorry, me. I, I genuinely have zero idea what you're talking about. A bear, a new kind of idol form. Like, druids have bear form as like guardian druids, like tanks can be bear form. Is that what you're, is that what you're talking about? Uh, Joe, Zombie, Bod, Loza, Dunno, and Ali, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know how the orc have a customization for their stance? N no? Oh, as in, like, they can hunch over or they can stand upright. Yep. Wondering if you would have that same thing for their form. No, they don't. No, the orc ones are a swap between hunched and upright. Yeah, that's a that's an appearance customization. Like, you can change your hair color, change your skin color, change whether you're hunched or if you're upright. That's a thing for orcs. Um, but... Yeah. Maybe it's a weird stance or bug. Um, when the when druids are in bear form and they slash dance, they stand up on their hind legs and, and dance around a bit. Is that is that what you're talking about? Without seeing it, I don't think I can help. <laughs> like if you could take a screenshot and post it in Discord or something, maybe we can help you. But this is this is not helping. <laughs> this is this is uh, this is not working, unfortunately. Um, Bear in gorilla stance. No, that's not a stance. That's a skin. That's a skin. It's like how you can trans, like transmog your weapons and your gear and stuff like that. It's um, like yeah, there are there are different colors of bear forms and stuff like that. And it's from Legion, and it was reintroduced with the Legion time walking with the Mage Tower. It's a skin, not a stance. It does not affect play style in any way.
Yeah. So yeah, so a druid can like you can get a whole bunch of different like appearances for you. Like you can customize your appearance as a druid. And then when we got in Legion, because we had the artifact weapons, and the artifact weapons could have like sixteen or so different skins for that particular weapon, and you could unlock them by doing different activities. But because bears and broomkins and cats didn't like you couldn't you can't see their weapons when they're in their animal forms for a druid what it would do is change the animal form rather than the skin on i mean the, the weapon had a skin as well but it had a corresponding animal skin to go with it um and then when they had the mage tower it provided um the that unique kind of shape to it but it's still just a druid it's still just a guardian druid it's just a guardian druid who has done something fancy It's just purely cosmetic. We must launch a counterattack before the more sworn can strike again. Will be judged fair. Nah. Sense the emergence of a second waystone within the mall, though he does not know its location. Your anima awakened the first waystone. It has allowed you to lead some of your allies to safety. I will create an anchor to your anima here in Oribos. Activating the second waystone should connect it to my anchor. I believe this bond will enable our covenant forces to leave the Maw. Just as you can do. By the Sunwell. Ah, oh, Kelm! Thank you so much for the resa. Much appreciated. You too. I hope you have a fantastic night as well. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. We will defend Oribos from the Jailer's forces. <gasps> the enemy's strength is clean. Uh, I, I don't think anything, Miharu. I don't think you missed anything. Just turning in more quests and thanking Kellen for the resub. So you know the bit is. <laughs> Thank you, Spot. I appreciate it. I was wondering when you would show up. I need your help. The jailer has used enormous I possess a device that will take us to a safe on Here we go. Once we arrive, it is imperative that you stay close. Oh, this is the bit that was bugged, right? The jailer has been seeking a realm called Cortia. My fellow brokers whispered legends of this place, a magnificent city filled with treasures. Its location, a closely guarded secret. Be on alert. No doubt the jailer's eye will be upon this place. I have the means to keep a hidden, as I have before. Stay close and obey my every word, lest the jailer's eye reduce you to Stygia. <laughs> I would like to not be Stygia. Ah, my new partner. Let us see you uncomfortably close to the jailer of forces. <laughs> Stay near me. Stay close, more I am close. Move your butt.
There must be strong. Good enough to bed. Rest well, Seeker. Thank you so much for the well wishes. We'll see you next time. See you on Wednesday. Hopefully. Obviously, no pressure. If you can't, you can't. That's okay. <laughs> the old lady part. <laughs> Rest well, guys. We'll see you next time. All right, I have to let this one play because this one has a habit of bugging. And it is. Yes. You have to. You have no choice now. Drop this in as well I can. Yes, absolutely. You can drop again next stream, but you can't drop today's on Wednesday. Must be here. It's in the blood pact. Correct. I'm so look. You're picking up already, Spot. You're you're on fire. You'll fit in perfectly here. <laughs> oh god. But no, to be clear, for anyone who is like shocked and appalled at my attitude towards my viewers, um, I absolutely do not expect or demand anybody to be here at all. I understand, like I am entertainment. It's like, you know, you, you feel no pressure to like attend a television show or something like that. So like, it's the same deal here, but it is really nice when people are here like regularly and we you know, build that rapport and, and you don't miss anything and it's great. In case you're wanting to be like alerted when I go live, uh, do be sure to follow on Twitch, obviously. Uh, we topped 8,800 followers today, by the way. We're officially at 8.8K. Um, you can turn on notifications. Twitch notifications are horribly unreliable. You can join Discord. There is exclamation Discord in chat or it's just discord.gg forward slash Fiamma um, is the other option. Uh, and there's like an at everyone when I go live. I'm very, very sparing with the at everyone's. It's usually only when I go live or when there's like a big announcement uh, or like I have to cancel the stream or something, which doesn't happen very often, honestly. Um, you can follow on Twitter. There's a tweet. I go, I tweet when I go live. So you could turn on notifications for that, but be aware I do tweet a fair bit. So that's like, hey, if you want to turn notifications on for Twitter, like be my guest, feel free to interact with all of that stuff. Cause good Lord, it'd help me, holy cow. But I tweet when I go live. I also post a story to both Instagram and Facebook. So you can follow me on those platforms. I don't know if you can turn on notifications for just stories, but you might be able to, I can't remember. I haven't had a fiddle with that part yet. Um, but yeah, if that's something that you'd like to do, then you're welcome to do that as well. But those are kind of all the ways to be notified when I go live, if you don't want to miss a thing. Of course, there is also the schedule. Uh, if you scroll down and click my name, Fiamma, and then you click the schedule tab. I have all of April's streams loaded in. You'll know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it. It converts it to your time zone, which is super convenient. Um, yeah. And then you'll know exactly when I'll be going live and you can pre-plan for it. You won't even need an alert. 2000 per stream max. Correct. Speaking of true streamer, you got my vouch. Brilliant. Look, I'm trying to get better at the whole self-promotion thing. I'm not very good at it still. But I am I'm trying because I need to be. I, I need to be. I need to boldly ask people to follow me on Instagram. So I'm trying. I'm trying. Forgive me. I am Targalan, keeper of secrets. I remember you. Come, we have much to discuss. Ah, uh, she'll beat us, she will. No! Oh, goodness. Here's just my life for the call. I mean, stream. Appropriate. <laughs> oh, goodness. Within the in-between 
safely out of reach until the jailer's chains found us. The banished one seeks our most precious treasure and is willing to destroy our entire existence to claim it. We good? We good. There is so much to learn. Much of my knowledge is purely academic. I must explore your anima to learn more. Oh, Inspect my anima, but I put it all in the bucket already. Probs not. I'm trying to get this bloody hurricane jellyfish does not want to give me the goop. Ridiculous investigation. Um, I I recently um had my six year stream anniversary, and we did a twelve hour stream to celebrate. I spent eight. I spent eight hours and fifteen minutes of those twelve hours fishing. 1,612 casts. However, members of the community have got it worse. Um, Sheba, who left earlier, um, had 2,700 casts. So far, still no goop. It's, um, it's, yeah, it's a thing. My birthday's month today. Ah, oh, fantastic! Did you at least get it? Oh, hell yeah, I did. Absolutely, I did. Absolutely, I did. I am nothing if not stubborn. The Mall Walker returns. The second waystone has been found. <clears throat> I hope I'm gonna seven on dying this bull fishing. Yeah, look. People are like, oh my god, you're so patient to farm these mounts. No, I'm stubborn. Different. Dating game, she's already going too fast. A little bit, hey. Yeah, it's it's speeding along. You have my thanks. The Mars seek to plunder our secrets. It is zip zip zipping along. That is for certain. has come to resume our pursuit of the jailer. I await you in Oribos. All right, so I should be able to do um rares now. May 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 maybe? Maybe not. Oof, actually maybe not. Oh, if I can pick those up, I should be able to do rares. My blade could be yours to command. Where is... Maybe it won't unlock yet.
Well, because it's got Flesh Ring, which is Necro Lord only. But... It's not showing... The rare for, um... It's not showing the Wild World Cracker. in the wrong place, am I? That would suck. Oops. What's on that one? This is Corthia. Papers Potion Patrol is even. Yeah, but it's not. That's not showing up on the map. On the map, it's not like. I know it's around the middle somewhere, but it's just not showing up. If the does that make sense? Like it should be one of these little hoovers, but it's not. Uh, who cares? It's here. Good. Um. <laughs> It's just odd that it's not showing up on the map. Or maybe it's like underneath another one or so. I don't know. I don't bloody know. I'm mm, sure it up for the upper you start the event. But it doesn't though. It, it doesn't like... Uh, it, okay, yeah, all the way up there. My bad. Okay, cool. Nothing, but that's okay. No mount from this one today. That's fine. All right, so the next one on the list is Malbog. So I'm going to check for Malbog with the um with the monk and then i have to switch to the druid and then i'll switch to the mage because those are the three alts i have access to core theory on um although we are very how many 10 minutes okay we'll wait and this will be the last battle oh, actually i might just flag that there we go Uh, I unlock the map. I unlocked it and explored it. Yeah, no, um, Handy Notes usually doesn't require you to have knowledge of where stuff happens. Um, it just sort of gives it to you anyway. Um, but that's okay. It was way, it was much further up the path than I thought it was going to be. Uh, but that's all right. We do as the Arbiter commands. Cool, so I actually got the path this time because it's, it's up. <laughs> You don't need the purple stuff to actually find Melbog. Um, you can, even without the trail, you can still follow the, the exact right path and get Melbog to spawn. But um, it's just the purple stuff helps, obviously. That as you found it brilliant. Go go fear old army, I know, right? It's it's a thing. Slowly but surely, building them up. I do have my 50-50s. Unfortunately, 50 isn't enough to access this kind of stuff. I've had 14 attempts so far. 
think this person's trying to escape. <laughs> is is it gonna sh like no? Okay. They might have just realized that um that's the mount chance. Assuming it's aiming at 400 level 60s. I backed away quickly. Oh wow, that's a lot. I mean, that's maximum number of characters you can have on a Battle.net account. So it makes sense as a number. But yeah, goodness gracious. Um, I can't afford 8 accounts, <laughs> personally. Um, there is a clip of me saying that if I can make it to full-time streaming and still be able to afford a second account, then, um, then I'll do it. But... That's a long way off. And that's two accounts, not eight. <laughs> but hey, if you love leveling, then why not, right? Like, that's an awesome goal. You'd, you'd get nothing else done in the expansion, I feel like. Uh, but that also depends on how much time you have to do all that too. Like, I have to. I spend too much time doing other stuff. I, I don't have the time to spend all that time leveling. But if you're full time content creating, or um, you know, unable to work for some reason or whatever, like that's definitely makes things a little easier to do that kind of stuff. Friend from Discord is actually at 460s in Furnace. There you go. There you go. So that I know when I'm supposed to do my attempts on Malbog on each of the tunes as I cycle through them, because <laughs> otherwise I'm going to miss them. What power to them? I think I'd lose the plot leveling even 50 tunes to 60. Oh, look, different people enjoy different things. It's it's that easy, hey. Yeah. Look, I've gone from like being able to clear my whole Mount Farm Monday list to being able to maybe do half of it potentially. Although we did spend a lot of time farming anima today and now it's done now. So um, there is a chance we might actually get further down the list next Monday. <laughs> but we crossed one off my list today, which is really nice. And we got a surprise mount too, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay, so you need to go... I need to go to Corthia. Okay. 
so you can go there. And then you can slot in there and then you can slot in there. Okay, all right. I have no animal left again. 84, good. <laughs> God damn. Oh, I have posted to Instagram. Go me. What is your quarry? Watch the shadows. Let me go. How's I say by the way? Really good. Really good. Quite toasty. Many enjoys. Many enjoys. Crunch. Click, clack, crunch. Peaceful. Okay, off we go to Corthia to do what we should have done before. <laughs> 200 cast down, 10k more to go, my luck in WoW is terrible. Look, we, I think we have luck for different things, hey? So like, I've had some really lucky mounts and then I've had some really unlucky mounts. It's kinda, you kinda gotta, t you know, it's, it's you take it and you, yeah. Take what you can get and grind out the rest. Okay. Let's highlight Malbog and follow the path without the purple. Um, the path I'm following is up on my map. It's the blue line. And you just kind of keep the blue dot that like when you're looking at the arrow that represents your um your player the dot is where you actually are and the arrow indicates what way you're facing so if you keep that dot on the line like you do with those little loop in the wire you know when you try not to electrocute yourself that one okay crushes up not that means anything for this tune there you go. There's the meat, even though I didn't use the purple. I'm going to manage to get Invincible Life Find. Hey, Maiden. Yes. Well done. Well done. Now I'm on 652 now. I count wide mounts. Very happy with that. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to keep going higher. Alright, I'm going to do Malbog and then we're going to do that last battle that just got triggered. <clears throat> Can't believe I've hit 220. 
220 eye level on one of my alts. That's like, holy cow. The catch-up is ridiculous. Catch-up is insane. I don't play my alts usually. So this is, um, this is very unusual. They don't get gear. <laughs> they don't do current content. So this is, uh, because of the covenants and doing the mount farming stuff. Yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. Oh, instead of playing the end of the from Big to play, I'm hooked at 204. Hey, that's pretty respectable. Everyone's got to start somewhere, you know? Everyone starts with zero mounts. I've been playing for 15 years. So I've had a bit more time than you to get a couple mounts. <clears throat> ah. Very sniffly. I thought we getting respawns on the other ones. God damn it. <laughs> we should have let it get the cast off. Ah oh, well, it's nearly dead anyway. It's a few extra years, sounds like a challenge. Yep, absolutely. Uh, there was a long time while I was playing that I didn't focus on that, do you know what I mean? Like I, I didn't, I didn't focus on that kind of stuff because I was raiding full time. Like I was doing four nights a week, four hours a night raiding, um, and all that kind of thing. So like getting heavily into collecting is something that's happened fairly recently. Um, I can tell you. I can tell you some data. I love data. So, one year ago, April 5th, 2021, I had 515 mounts. So in the past year, I've managed to get, what's that? A few. So, to, so I've got 652 now. So that'll be seven, uh, 37, uh, 137 mounts in the past year, one year, 137. Um, when DFA was originally created, Data for Azeroth, back December 16th, 2020, I had 474 mounts. So, uh, 474, 178 mounts over the course of a year and a half, uh, just short of a year and a half. Wait, is that right? Yeah, just short of a year and a half. So, um, that's not bad. Dono, Alitria, Bod, Yoko, Joe, Zombie, Krig, Dark, Fade. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Uh, thank you, Matt. Yeah, no mount today, but that's okay. I got two! I'm pretty happy with two mounts today. Uh, I'm gonna be collecting things, go the races, like only three heritage armors. Damn, those numbers, yummy. Data4Azeroth.com. You're welcome. I'm not gonna apologize. You're welcome. Alrighty. We're gonna hop over to here. That was the last battle for today. And this is my April streaming calendar. Today we're on the 4th of April. So on Wednesday, we're gonna be doing a dark moon stream. So I, I'm a collector. Oh, we've got an ad, crap. Um, give me a minute. Oof, you just give me so many things today. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but I'm, I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Let's 
Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. This should be fun. Haven't been here in a while. This will be good fun. Um, stay around, how dare you? Look, I, I'm pretty okay at, at convincing people to stay. Pretty okay. Ah, ad's still in progress. That's okay. We're just going to have to crack on anyway. Um, so Wednesday, we're going to do a Dark Moon ATT. So I, I have, like, obviously we have all the things, which is our ATT, which is this magical one once it loads. This one. Um, and I believe it's under holiday. Yeah, Dark Moon Island. There you go. So I've, I've got a few things. There's a bunch of dancing achievements that I haven't got because that's a new thing. Um, there's a whole lot of like stuff I need to buy, clearly. <laughs> like a lot of stuff I need to buy. I'm probably not going to get through all of those, but I can definitely get some of them, maybe. Uh, do all the dailies and stuff. There's a, a fishing thing I don't have, apparently. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff we can kind of go do. A bunch of achievements and things. We're going to try that and see what we can knock out, see if we can't improve that percentage somewhat. Um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a time. It'll be a time. I will actually need your help with that one. Um, there are some achievements that are incredibly difficult to do solo. Um, like incredibly difficult to do solo. Uh, so in fact, there's one particular achievement that cannot be done solo. It has to be done with people there all doing the same thing at the same time. Uh, so we're going to do our best to get as many of those done as possible. Then on Friday, we're going to do some secret finding. Uh, you might be able to see here. I've got three secrets left to go. Uh, Bound Shadehound, Jennifer and Sundata Hatchling. So I want to see if I can get all three of them done. If not, one or two would be nice. Uh, and then transmog hunting. We do all the things, dungeon, like all the dungeon and raid things, do collecting transmogs, and then if it rolls a dungeon that we're going to be doing, then uh, we do it as a loot appraiser challenge. See if we can't make some gold while we're there. And then back around to next Monday, which is another Mount Farm Monday. So I hope that I will see you there. I always go live at 4pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. If you don't know what time that is in your time zone, then you can click Fiamma under channel and then click schedule and it will convert it to your time zone for you, magically. It's amazing, I love that feature. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, please follow me on Instagram, I beg of you. <laughs> I am desperate, I would like some, I, I, I need more followers if I'm gonna be able to go full time and stuff. Uh, so trying to build that Instagram following, um, exclamation Instagram or exclamation socials in chat, socials get you all of it, like everything. Um, and then this is, or you can again scroll down and where it says Fiamma, there's like the links on the side. It's got it there, nice and easy, like a one, like a one scroll, one click. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, that's that's about that. That's about that. Mage Tower. Yeah, uh, we're gonna give that a crack next Wednesday. That was a that you know the TikTok tale for two, the the thing we've got the that was a ch the Dark Moon Fair was a challenge, um, the Secret Finding was a challenge, Mage Tower also a challenge last month. So these are this is the results of people uh, contributing their embers. So I'm going to try. I'm going to try the Mage Tower. I'm probably not going to succeed, but I am going to try. It will be very entertaining and you should all absolutely watch that because it will be hilarious, I guarantee you. Because um, I'll fail lots. It'll be great. Uh, Witch Mage Tower? Yes. I want the mount. I want the mount, so I have to do all seven. <laughs> Which seven of the 36? Fucked if I know. I know I'll do the Fire Mage one because that's what I main. I main a fire mage. Uh, everything else is going to be tricksy as hell, so I'll, I'll see what I can figure out. I don't know what the other ones are going to be, but we will see! Uh, okay, let's grab this. Yeah, rad is not a thingy which I definitely need to watch this. <laughs> Good. Yeah, you'll be very entertained, I promise. There'll be so goddamn many clips coming out of that stream, I swear to god. So many clips. Coach! Oh god, no, I'm not good. I'm not good. You misunderstand. Uh, 
grab your copy paste from Koalatron there if you don't have the Fiamma hype emote because either you're not a subscriber or you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, your embers, both of which are totally fine. You can still copy paste the entire message, delete Fiamma hype and replace it with your favorite happy hypey celebratory emote and drop it into Mar Marari's channel. I mean, it, her name is Marari, but I call her Marari because it's just, like it's spelled the same way as a suburb in Australia. It's fine. She lets me but I should pronounce it properly when I'm introducing her to people. So uh, Marari, she's lovely, really, truly lovely. Um, so I'll see you on Wednesday. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I will see you then. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys.